in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted on you yeah. and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching for the Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Oh, holy. Oh, holy. Now you, Lord God. The lamb. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your hair has been falling. This is a very serious issue. I'm not just talking a serious hair loss. Even your colleagues have started noticing. Please, who is that lady? Come and stand. Your hair is removing. Amen. Hallelujah. There's someone, as soon as you entered this place, you had severe chest pain. It started becoming sharp till now as i'm talking you're having the pain please come out as i mentioned your case just come out please save time Holy Spirit, thou art welcoming in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcoming in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Oh, me. Potent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. There is a lady here, stomach says that your stomach started swelling, started as though it is constipation, very, very serious, and you are beginning to, if it's afraid, if it's a growth there, please, who is that lady? Come out quickly.
The presence of God is mighty in this place. The power of God is moving already in front here like a river. It's like a river. We will curse those devils because God is here. Thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. Spirit of the living God, we thank you. Of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. Lay your hands on your chest. I want to rebuke that devil. Please, I want you to believe there is authority in this place. There is not just power. There is authority. There is a big difference between authority and power. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your chest. Lord Jesus, thank you for your anointing. In the name of Jesus, I bring these bodies under the influence of this anointing. And in the name of Jesus, I command the works of darkness to be gone now. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to believe. These are not Joshua Selman's hands. These are hands empowered by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the authority of the kingdom. Oh Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to offer a sacrifice. Out! Go! Let her go now. Out! As I pray for you, go back to your seat and check yourself. God is healing you. Out! Now! Be healed. Be healed. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now. By the power of this kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You wicked spirit. Let her go never to return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. your hands on your stomach in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the authority of the kingdom be free now you wicked spirit tago now I challenge you I see you in the spirit and I command you to go now In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. 
be set free in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will remain a threat to Satan as long as God grants us that privilege. We will never allow him find expression in the lives of the people. Listen. Miracle services are not the only services where God touches people. Any service is a miracle service. Are you getting my point? It's just for organization. That's why you see us do the things that we do. We just set aside one week. But that does not mean God can flow any day, any time, change what he needs to change. Even if it is for the sake of one person, God can interrupt a service and say somebody came hungry. We are not religious people to just say it must go this way. Hallelujah. It must go God's way. If God wants us to begin to pray for the sick and speak into the life of people, that's what we are going to do. Hallelujah. You came praying and let me tell you, God had your prayer and he will only respond according to your prayer, not according to a church program. If there is someone who the spirit of death is upon, for instance, God is not going to allow that happen just because we need to teach a series and allow somebody go back and die. God is too loving. He can interrupt. The Bible says when he, as he taught, the power of God was present to heal. Hallelujah. So when you, important, very, very important. There's, is it a gentleman or a lady that came? You sent me a text. You're coming from somewhere else. Not Zaria. Who's the person? Come quickly. From where, my dear? Abuja. The Lord will visit you. Come, believe. Things will so change in your life from this night, it will surprise you. Pro Prophecy is not just about calling names and numbers. It makes sense. It doesn't make sense if it does not come to pass. The beauty of prophecy is result, not flamboyancy. Are you getting me? I can quote everything and tell you this will happen and it doesn't happen. That's nonsense. You just clap for film show. The power of prophecy is the force that makes it happen. Are you getting my... Let this wicked spirit leave this girl now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of oppression. Not even just you, your family. Your family, is that true? This is even one of the reasons why you came. Where's your mother? In Oka now. She'll be in Oka. We have to pray. And we have to pray for you. Huh? We have to pray so that the devil will not start, they will not start telling you so and so is happening to your stomach. We need to pray. Are you married? You want to get married? Why are you afraid? Was that not part of your request? God is going to visit you. It doesn't matter what your request is here. We are not as what if it's marriage? Say marriage. Don't sit down. Well, look, let me tell you, this is like a factory. Are you getting my point? This is not a lecture hall. This is where God dethrones principalities and powers over people's lives. Money enters your hand, but it leaves. And this is your family. They suffer this same thing. True. To be very rich, but things scatter. Yes. Then it's the same pattern now with us, the grandchildren. We need to pray, all right? And we are going to break that nonsense right here, right now. You believe it? I know that you are coming from Abuja. You met a lot of people, right? Honestly, I tell you, God is in this place, my dear. God is in this place. We say it with all humility. He's not just here, but his authority and his presence is in this place. Jesus, we lift up your name and we break everything that is not of God. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will rise up, you will return, and you will encounter the power of God in unusual ways. Every life siege over your life is broken and we open a new chapter. Everything that is not of God, we take it behind you 
and we declare that before you becomes like a garden of Eden in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you hallelujah be seated God bless you greet one another Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Did you greet yourselves? Please go ahead. Greet someone who is not you. Hallelujah. Two of you had dreams. Um, you saw someone you know chasing you very seriously and you were running please two of those people see when god begins to interrupt me like this can we just flow is that okay mm. just play what you play mike you can put it on door now. please those two people i don't know who you are you saw someone pursuing you in your dream this is very serious this is not you know them there's one more person Sometimes I wish we have all the time to minister to people one by one. Maybe one day we'll, we'll make the BG service a night BG. Would that be fine? Honestly, so we'll take time. It kills my spirit when I see that the, the time is limited. This is why we rush people like this so that we can come up. Because the truth is, there are many people who have issues and you know it's that if God locates you, that will truly be the end of it. It's just that time. Are you getting my point? Time. Time is a big factor. Time is a very big factor. Time is a big factor. Come. This lady, the one chewing your hand, you stand up Come. quickly, quickly. I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you and I'm wondering why he's standing close to you. You are going to be a woman of God, a very powerful woman of God. You will walk in the prophetic very, very powerfully. You will walk in the prophetic. People have not seen anything about you. You will rise in a very powerful way. And God is going to give you unusual unction. Father, let your word come through in her life. Give her unction. In the name of Jesus Christ, go, turn not struggle. From today, we pray that you will experience the hand of God in very dramatic ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Come. Your entire family needs deliverance. Huh? It's not just you. There's a cause of delay in your family. You may not believe. Listen, it is because Jesus is victorious that we can even identify things like this and address it. Are you getting my point? We have to pray. Hmm? If not, you are going to struggle. Are you a student? We need to pray. Huh? If not, you will struggle, not just academically, but everything. I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Let him be free. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone and he's tying something like a bead. And this is what I see. The Lord setting the person free. Even in your family. Lord set him free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please come brother. If I don't pray for you. The devil is going to afflict you with sickness. Very serious sickness. You believe that? Are you sick? I need to pray for you because it's going to be something um, it's going to start like ulcer but it's going to get very serious hmm? and we must rebuke it once you and that God wants your heart totally hallelujah let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus just lay your hands on your chest set him free by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Osha Madam, come. It's you I need to pray for, not the person you are standing behind. There is a lot going on in your family. There is hardship. 
hardship because the Lord is showing me a vision and I'm seeing like somebody is farming on a land farming on on rocky ground and nothing is burning. we must pray you believe that we have to pray you people have suffered too much in your work nothing is working as you're standing like this absolute not that true nothing from everybody nothing is working even you you are struggling and this is a very very demonic thing you're a worker in this house and you're supposed to experience the hand of god father we love our workers why should they go through this satan i adjure you let her go now she's a worker in this house and she should be an epistle of the vision so that it will not look like we are faking this thing my god i pray that she will be free right now by the power of the holy spirit out of her now that wicked spirit let her go in the name of jesus christ go now i lay my hands and by the fire of the holy ghost let her family go in the name of jesus christ i release her in the name of the lord jesus christ you are living never to regain whatever gives you legal access by the blood we command that she is free let the doors be opened in the name of jesus christ doors of increase doors of plenty power by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah come let me pray for you If you are the only one who is prospering and your family members are not experiencing it, you will not be happy. Do you understand? It should extend. We believe in family salvation here. That whatever is happening to you should happen to your loved ones. How many of you believe that? Praise the Lord. No matter how prosperous you are, if your family members are not getting blessed, your joy will not be complete. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let God visit your phonic thing, this demonic thing in your family. I curse it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please, let's hurry up so we can do this. Let me pray for you. I'm looking at a young lady. I'm seeing an old woman. What is all this? Where are you from? Eh? Enugu. I'm seeing a very old woman. As I'm looking at you, it's not your face that I'm seeing. I'm seeing another person's face, and it's an old woman. And if we don't deal with this, it will stop you from getting married. You will be wondering a very pretty lady moving around. Why? Why? You know, all these kind of things. Hmm? We're going to pray. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Hmm? Hold my hands and let me pray for you. It's not your fault that you were born in your family, but it's your fault if you remain in that trouble. You must do something about it. Are you getting my point? Keep blaming. Many of us keep blaming our parents and all of that. It may not be their fault. They did the best that they know how to do. But now that you know the truth, you must contend for change. Are you getting me? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this lady be free from everything that is not of God. I set by the now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Why did she come out? Why did I hide him? Let me pray for you. The spirit of death. This is death. This is not even sickness. There are families that people keep dying, dying, and they meet a pastor and he says, all right, this is the last one that will happen. Then another one happens and he says, don't worry. Just give thanks in all things. You must deal with it. Once you see fire on the mountain, there's a saying in my language that if you see your neighbor's beard catching fire, don't wait till it catches your own. Find water quickly and soak your own. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. There are things I'll tell you, but I can't tell you here, right? but your relationship with God is very important. It's not just about receiving a miracle from God, but he must have your everything. Hallelujah. You, does it make sense to you what I'm saying? It makes a lot of sense, right? Mm. Father, please visit this lady and visit her family. I separate you from every evil and every wickedness of darkness. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let these attacks of darkness stop in Jesus' name. Brother, well done. Let me pray for you. You need revelation. Look at me. This is what you are lacking grossly in your life. You have desire. But desire is not enough in the kingdom. You need revelation. Hallelujah. Are you getting it? This is what you need at this phase. So you must contend for light and revelation. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I impart upon you the spirit of revelation. Let it come upon you. And let it be mighty. You will understand the truths of God's word. And may God use you mightily. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. Ah. Lord, allow us to teach tonight. Oh. Janet. Who is Janet, please? I'm hearing a name, Janet. Janet. You are Janet? Okay. Your mom. A man should not have a woman's name. Oh, your mother's. Okay. Janet. I'm seeing Janet. Kai, no. There is Janet in this place. Are you Janet? There is. Is it? I hope the person is here. This is how people miss out on their miracles. Janet. Janet. I will pray for you because you have come out, but I'm hearing it in my spirit. Janet. When God refuses, I refuse to because it means that there's something that he wants. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your elder sister was to get married. They, did, they even did introduction. And then something happened and they canceled it. It was a very disappointing experience. Who is that? Please. They even did introduction. The guy came, saw your people. He started doing corner corner and everything just backfired please come quickly for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you hold on there's someone you are writing jam tomorrow but you've been having dreams seeing yourself in like a primary school or a school band. who is that person you are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, it's going to be failure. You are going to fail the jam. Run, you are wearing blue. You are a lady. You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, you will fail the jam. Are you the one? You come. You are great. The devil wants you to fail this jam. And if we don't pray again, this one is not lack of studies. Are you getting my point? This is not lack of studies. You are writing jam too. I will pray for jam people. Don't worry. Jam will pray for you. The devil is in trouble tomorrow. You, but you come, let me pray for you since the word is for you. Look at me. We have to destroy this thing. Huh? What dream did you have? I see myself failing. You see yourself failing again and again. Huh? Don't worry. The Lord is going to visit you. You believe that? Did you read? Mm. Let the angel of God's presence help you. Because this jam sometimes is just the help of God. It's not any long story. You just need God to help you. Regardless of whether you understand what you are shading or not. For the sake of his kingdom. Sometimes you just need to say help. Oh Lord. Help. As simple as that. Praise God. I know some of you are laughing. You think it's a joking matter. That's how God helped some of you. you when you saw your result. Even you. You knew that this was prophecy. It's not any... The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. God is working on your blood. This is not even the issue of jam again. God is changing your genotype. Hmm? Is that true? What's your genotype? AA. A -A. Your genotype is AA. I'm seeing God changing your genotype. It's not AA. You think it's AA. It's AS. God is changing it to AA. You fall sick, you fall sick consistently. It's not AA, your genotype is AS. I'm seeing AS and an arrow is drawing to AA. This is what God is changing. You believe that? Because even you, you are surprised why you fall sick. Your bones pain you now. 
serious just like a sickler it's just that they've not told you you are ss because this is demonic hallelujah father let her pass her jam and change her genotype in the name of the lord jesus christ just wait here i think i'll just pray for jam people generally before we just start the message hallelujah disappointments for your sisters why are you crying please my dear it's okay see no matter what the issue is i want you to believe that the lord of heaven is in this place when god locates you he will solve your problem are you getting what i'm saying and listen once god has located one person you don't need to wait until they call you are you getting my point this is how to tap into prophecy when god locates one person you can sit where you are and say lord i receive are you getting what i'm saying even if it's not for your sister you can challenge yourself so you must position yourself to receive let me pray for you father what why are you crying look at me why exactly are you crying let me just ask you your auntie where is she come i'm so touched why is she crying like this please um it's okay hmm? let's not get i can be emotional i won't cry but <laughs> i don't know why i i don't cry this crying thing i only cry when i'm worshiping god but every other thing i don't know why people are crying and sometimes i'm saying let these people not think i'm so hardened i'm trying but the tears so I just found out that the best way to respond to my emotion is to solve the problems that cause it. Praise God. Jesus Christ is going to... Where is your auntie? She's at home. Where is home? Silver. She's just in silver close by. Why didn't she come? Invite her for miracle service. Will she come? She doesn't come. So no problem. But let's pray for her. Father, please visit her auntie. In the name of Jesus, let that spirit leave your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that family leave. Please, immediately I finish praying for them. If you are writing jam, come out. Let me just pray for you once so that we can. Am I boring you tonight? God is just flowing. And I, I have a very powerful teaching, but I think God just wants to. Some of you have been praying and we've had the word, but God needs to locate some people this night please just let it happen let's just let god flow that way why are you coming out what's happening hold on hold on what's going on jam okay just stand where you are you don't need to go back let me just pray for these people hallelujah all we want is you take over take over By nothing, nothing else but you. Lord, visit our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this plague of witchcraft be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister was disappointed. Or who? Yes, sure. What happened? I did the introduction. Did everything I wanted. I did. There's a reason why I'm asking. God asked me to ask you. That's why not i would just pray for you they did the introduction they did everything and the relationship just ended like that the guy ran away what happened i pray for you in this place in the name of the lord jesus christ ladies may no man just come into your life play games with you make you to involve your parents and then for whatever reason go away i separate you from it in the name of jesus christ Amen that anyone that has planned from day one that he's just coming to play around with your life may my god keep them far from you Amen. in the name of jesus christ some of these things may not even be that the guy is a bad guy is this demonic things that we deal with sometimes are you getting what i'm saying i'll pray for you jesus you brought her out help her be free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. You too. Let me just pray for you very fast. I hope this is not what I'm going to do all through this night. 
some of you are already praying you are saying god it won't stop oh he's already close to my <laughs> look and let me tell you something truly let me tell you something about the power of prophecy you know the bible says that upon the throne there were seven eyes and close to the eyes were thrones that means anything you see there is authority to conquer it seven eyes and seven horns once the eye of the lord can locate your situation there is authority to conquer it are you getting my point but then it doesn't just mean that if your case is not mentioned you must force yourself and say no you can receive because the word of god is also prophetic hallelujah your sister too or your auntie or you huh who ah that's a long story talk oh god have mercy in the name of jesus christ i wish there was special time i had time to counsel because some of these things i can't say them openly but look at me there are certain things you think are disadvantages but they are the mercy and the deliverance of god that's just what i will tell you do you understand parables father have mercy on this lady and bless her in jesus name don't call everything evil you need the eye of the spirit to know because some of you what you call disappointment would have been the best gift of god to you it's just that it's the future that will make you appreciate it that's why the bible says in everything give thanks hallelujah father thank you let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of jesus where are your people because your family needs the hand of god hmm? This is not just the issue of prayer for one person. Father, please help this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This evil must stop. Leave the family now. Let the family go. Jesus Christ father we pray for the sister visit her let her marriage be successful in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus Christ the Lord is lifting the yoke over your family and the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that the morning comes for your family your family has suffered a lot tell them the morning comes in the name of Jesus Christ My brother, look at me. Where are you from? Kaduna. You are from Makodi. There is a lot of witchcraft in your family. But Father, I pray tonight that this thing will end in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free, be free, be free. Hallelujah. Jam. Jam, I'm very serious. Please, don't come here joking. Come here with every sense of seriousness as if you're already writing the exam. Jam, come out. It will take the power of God for some of you. All of you who are sitting, stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Let's pray in tongues all over this place. We need miracles. Jam, we have to break this thing right now. I'm angry in my spirit because many of these people are intelligent. They are blessed. They are not dull. Let me tell you, they are not dull. This is just the hand of Satan. Jam, if there's no space, just stand where you are and begin to pray in tongues. Neketete bakata baladabas 
Father, we need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. They are believers. They love the Lord. We need your mercy tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I started praying for jam people from Monday. The number of people who came for counseling just to be prayed for for jam. I, it troubled my spirit and I said, Lord, why are people failing jam like this? Is it because all of, I know some of you didn't read, you are just been playing around. But there are people who have been serious. And almost all the people I prayed for for jam, I had to cast out devils from them. And then it, it dawned on me that there are some people who are suffering innocently. Hallelujah. And we need to pray this night. Because some of you, the truth is, the way you are standing now, you are not even ready for the jam. Let's just tell the truth and shame the devil. So, the mercy of God can take you through where you would not even be able to. Do you believe in the mercy of God? Because that's the only prayer I want to pray for you now. The mercy of God is not just for sinners. Hallelujah. Some of you, this is a destiny issue for you because you've written jam four times, five times, six graduated, you are still graduated, you are still graduated, you are still there. We need to take it seriously. Hallelujah. And to pray. So I'm going to pray for you. Lift your hands. If it's a demonic thing, that devil must go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Father, this is what you have made this house become. A place of breakthrough and in the name of Jesus I pray listen lift your hands all of you I'll first rebuke the power that is responsible for stopping some of you as I pray you will know that for some of you it's demonic forces that have been stopping you Jesus we lift up your name Jesus we lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Now I'm going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every force of darkness tying anyone's academics here by the power of the Lord resident in this house, I command those devils of darkness release god's people now 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 by the power of the holy ghost every act of divination every spirit that wants to make you fail jam in the name of jesus i cause it i cause it out of them now out of them now out of them now for those of you standing for your loved ones i command that power to leave you that power that makes you stand in the exam hall and you blank out until you fail i challenge it right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah lord jesus i pray may the angel of the lord that came to give daniel understanding may that angel of the lord go with you as you write your job in the name of jesus christ i release angels now i release angels from the throne of mercy may they go with you as you shed may they go with you i release angels in the name of jesus i release angels as you write where you do not know may they still guide you in the name of jesus where your strength fails may the strength of elohim take you through 
in the name of Jesus Christ your result will not be withheld in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of fear in this place fear of repetition of what happened last year I command that spirit of fear go 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 I cause fear go go out now go let boldness come upon you let boldness every devil that says you cannot do it fear out of them out of them for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind fear is banished from your life let the heart of a lion be given to you you will go and you will succeed you will go and you will prosper you will go and you will excel i command this devil i see a spirit in this lady is already positioned to destroy her tomorrow i command out out now out now she must pass the job i command you to leave in the name of jesus out now in the name of jesus jesus we lift up your name bring her hallelujah let me tell you there are some of you if not for this night's prayer you would still fail the jam again and you have to wait another year but there is the power of prophecy many of you don't know the power of prophecy it comes see listen listen you can see what is happening right now all these people have been suffering whereas they are preparing the kingdom of darkness is also preparing be free to excel in the name of the lord jesus christ out of her now you are a wicked spirit i know this lady personally and i know how much she has struggled i know how much she studies i had to pay for her lesson personally to make sure that she makes it now she's going to write jam tomorrow this lady is very diligent and hard working listen see let me tell you something before you start accusing people when you don't understand what is happening in their life keep quiet are you listening to me because there are people who need the grace of god i know that there are people who are violating principles but where they have tried and done their best and nothing is working that's when god steps in hallelujah all of you who are writing jam say in the name of jesus or if you are standing in for someone i receive courage i receive wisdom i receive an anointing to excel tomorrow i go with the backing of heaven i write my jam with the backing of heaven i refuse to fear i will excel in the name of jesus father i pray for your people may they meet above their cutoff point by far in the name of jesus you will not only pass the jam it will give you admission i prophesy it if i be a servant of god there are others you wrote it and passed jam but you didn't get admission with it not only will you write the jam may my god give you admission where men sit down and meet to frustrate you may the hand that the person that hand that can change seasons may it change your result for good in the name of jesus christ and i announce to every power you have no right over god's people i put a wall of fire over their lives as they write jam you will write it under an open heavens in the name of jesus christ you will write it under an open heavens god bless you please go back rejoicing thank you jesus christ 
Ah, my spirit is already charged. Goodness. My spirit is boiling with anger right now. All those who are trusting God for jobs, come out and stand here. Shekata Baba. Man pretekete Rekata Bosotoba. Man te kotoso pretekete. Lekete te bokosotobata. Rekete bosotoba. Man te parekete leka. Em pretekete te bakatabala. Lem pretoso pretekete. E broshe kete te ba. Rekete reke ba. Raposko parikete. Lente posko patikata. Elekete brosko si ba 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 ba. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. I tell you, my spirit is fired up tonight. I don't know what kind of anointing came upon me this stage, but I'm angry my spirit tonight. The Bible says, believe in the lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper look at the number of people trusting god for jobs there's got to be a way of helping god's people are you getting my point there, there has to be a spiritual way of helping God's people let me tell you something if we cannot help God's people there is no reason why we should get people born again to leave the traditional thing they are doing and come into Christianity are you getting my point we have no right to stop somebody from to insult somebody who is going to a shrine if you come for a meeting like koinonia and God cannot help you I came i prepared a nice message to come and teach but my spirit is fired up because you see this is the real problem that is bringing many of us and if we don't resolve this thing you can keep hearing the word but the truth is you will celebrate testimonies but when it happens in your life there's no other message that is stronger than that hallelujah please lift your hands we need to dethrone some wicked spirits in this place please follow me instrumentalist Hallelujah. We're going to pray. The Bible talks of these four horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah. Some of you graduated with excellent results. You have served, but your result is like a piece of paper. We need to break that power. Let me tell you, it is not by power. I taught it in the message, give me this mountain. There is a lot more. There is a lot more. Please lift your hands. There are two things I'm going to do. I'm going to rebuke this spirit. For many of you, there are horns in your families that have said nobody will rise. You've gone to school, but it's as if you are still in primary school. Even if you are outside, no problem. Just hang on there with faith. God is doing a very prophetic thing tonight. I'm about to rebuke these powers and as I take authority over them the fire of God is going to move across these people standing in a very strong way and we are going to break the hand of the devil you will see a release of miracle jobs that will surprise you my God I thank you I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus lift your hands father I pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit at the count of three let every devil and every enchantment every act of divination responsible for joblessness my god at the count of three may your fire move through and tear down altars right now one two three touch now 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 i cause powers i cause powers I cause powers. Shake it, 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 it. Help them, ushers. I cause powers in the name of Jesus. 
I set them on fire. Let the fire of God move across everywhere and every spirit that is responsible for joblessness in the name that is above all names. We set it on fire now. We set it on fire now. Hallelujah. Years ago, I had a story. There was someone who wanted to go to NDA. And there is a certain height that they take. And the person was too short. So they told the person, we cannot take you. So the news got to the Emir. When the news got to the Emir, he sent the guy with a message. He said, go and tell the people that the Emir has added his height. And they took him. Did you hear that word? He said, go and tell them that the Emir added the height of the short person. We are going to pray. I don't want to know what the deficiency is. Are you getting my point? In the name that is a please believe. Please believe. See, some of you are already used to intellect so much. You don't know the power of the spiritual. Otherwise, you will struggle forever. And you will find out that things are not changing. Because some of you are standing for your loved ones. They have been praying. Praying. In the name of Jesus. I command doors of miracle jobs right now. I command doors of miracle jobs right now. Everywhere you have dropped your CV. I move the angels of the Lord to begin to bring wherever they have hidden it. I pray, let the book of remembrance be opened over you tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who maybe because of the quality of your certificate, humanly speaking, you may not get a job. My God, because of the anointing he has put in your life, let that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ may that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ whoever has vowed that you will not live to be gainfully employed in the name that is above all names we arrest those powers this night hallelujah for those of you who are walking but the work you are doing is like slavery in jesus name we relocate you from that job to something of dignity we relocate you from that job to something of dignity hallelujah please go back to your seat rejoicing go and submit your cvs go and apply knowing that you have an anointing I don't think we are wasting our time this night. God is visiting issues and I'm very happy about it. Hallelujah. The next set of people the Lord is ministering that I call. Whether you or someone in your family that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Please march out here quickly. This fruit of the womb issue. Even if you come out 10 times tonight, don't worry. Greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord.
Honestly, I really feel sad in my spirit for those who could not make it tonight for Koinonia because what God is doing in this place, I know that there is an unusual anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, those of you standing, please listen. Don't get too used to just coming out and going back. Listen to me, please. My Bible tells me that children are a heritage from the Lord. Are you getting me? Children are not just the byproduct of a man meeting with his wife. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Let me tell you the, something about the mystery of barrenness. Look up, please. Jesus looked at a tree. What did he do to the tree to be barren? That means what is responsible for barrenness? Is that true? Jesus gave us an example of how anything can be made barren. He looked at the tree. He didn't advise the tree. He caused the tree. So how do you reverse barrenness? Are you listening to me? Jesus looked at a tree that was bearing at least it had leaves. Are you getting my point? And he caused it. How did he cause it? By making pronouncements. Did he rub charcoal on the tree? He just made pronouncements. Listen. Job said that he shall deliver you from the scourging tongues of men. You know what the scourging tongues of men? The scourging tongues of men are wicked pronouncements. We live in a generation where we do not know the power of words. We confess, we talk it, we run around. But when a word is spoken with an anointing, whether it is demonic or of God, the only remedy is if revelation has shielded you from its effect. Otherwise, it will hit you. Now listen. I want to explain to you the mystery of this devilish thing we call fibroid. Because there are only about four or five things that make people not to be able to give birth. They now tell the man he's impotent, low sperm or whatever kind of medical terminology. Huh? And then for the lady, they now say she's barren, fibroid, maybe some cysts or a womb, something has happened. And now, please, if you're a doctor here, don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not against you, don't be offended. I'm just telling you that there is a higher spiritual intelligence. Are you getting my point? Because this is purely spiritual. Look at me. A lot of people take in. Most people, you see, I counsel people all the time. It's not what I read in a book. It's what I have seen. Hallelujah. The woman takes in. Huh? And then... When she takes in, you will find out that she will lie down quietly to sleep and she will have a dream, oftentimes. And another man will come and sleep with her or another woman or something will happen. She will wake up in the morning with blood. She's lost the child. Or all kinds of demonic, satanic things. But the Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that means there are handwritings and there are ordinances but the bible says blotting it out hallelujah do you believe the prayer we're going to pray tonight because we are going to deal with this day there are some the money they have spent just to get one child is running into millions they've done everything they can do but the God that gives children. If a herbalist by the riverside, brothers and sisters, can bath somebody and give the person a child, we have no right to be telling believers to stop going to herbalists if God cannot give children. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Lift your hands. I know there are, there are only a few of you here that are standing for yourself. Most of you are standing for your loved ones. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And God opened the womb of Rachel. And God opened the womb of Leah. Whether for yourself or for the person you are standing for. I'd like you to say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of God. And I declare. That my womb is open. Open to receive 
and open to give birth normally in the name of Jesus now lift your hands you'll be surprised at what will happen here now then you will know that nothing just happens thank you Jesus Christ hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ my God you are the one doing this I don't even know what I'm doing you need to step in for families we can't keep preaching every week and not have people receive lift your hands please there are lots of chains that will be broken right now thank you Jesus Christ whether for yourself or those you are standing at the count of four just four counts because I see angels with swords Lord let the chains be broken one two three four chains be broken chains be broken chains be broken I cause barrenness I cause it I cause it I command a blessing every barren womb receive in the name of Jesus every barren womb be opened in the name of Jesus everyone called barren all the covenants and diabolisms that have blocked their wombs we command miracle children we command miracle babies I come against the spirit of miscarriage in the name of Jesus Christ I come against the spirit of miscarriage every fibroid in every womb I curse you you will pass out now everyone carrying any growth any tumor any cyst in the name of Jesus whether for you or your loved ones I curse it fibroids go fibroids go without surgery fibroids go in the name of Jesus Christ any medical complication associated with this barrenness we change it now for those who do not have wombs we don't want to know what happened that the wombs were lost this night we give them new wombs every damaged womb we are not praying for healing we create a new one by the word of God that created the heavens and the earth that nine months from now there will be celebration of miracle children I prophesy it I decree it let the power of God bring it to pass hallelujah God bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah now I'm led to pray listen this is a special prayer and please don't be emotional about it there are certain people here you're having acute academic challenges it's not because you are dull your own has become a serious issue you know you need prayer march out quickly march out quickly if you are ashamed sit down on your seats here there are people who are serious you came here tonight your results were released for some of you and you know that your academics is in a state of emergency come out here let's deal with this thing once and for all can you play strings we refuse to believe that you are dull the devil is a liar please come quickly find your way just come here let's save time goodness that's eight if this is all we do today no problem hallelujah if this is all we do today no problem next week is a powerful communion service we'll be having communion and I'll be laying hands on everybody everybody who comes I'm going to be laying hands on everybody praying in tongues and speaking hallelujah I'm going to be sharing a powerful revelation on the mystery of the blood hallelujah it's going to be a powerful communion service we'll be serving communion and it will be an anointing service again 
I'm going to lay hands on everybody. Hallelujah. Things must change. We are going to force things to change. Hallelujah. Please, if you can find your way, come in. I, I want to see you, but if you cannot, no problem. We need to rebuke academic issues. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you something. Not everyone you see struggling academically is struggling because they are not serious. Out of him. Now. Come out. I hear the chains falling. Falling. Oh, oh. I hear the chains falling. You must let him go. You are a wicked spirit. I hear the chains falling. See, that power must let you go this night. That power must let you go this night. Hallelujah. How many of you have had so many people telling you? I was the best student in my secondary school. I was very good. Some of you here, as you are standing, you cannot even believe that you are the one going through what you are going. Because if you tell people, they will not believe. You were exceptional people. But as soon as you stepped in, something happened. Some of you literally, during exam, this thing they call exam fever, and people laugh about it. They've even given it a name, exam fever is a wicked and demonic thing what is exam fever it's not because of tension you wrote wayek you wrote jam you entered the university see the the reason can i tell you something listen the reason why many people are suffering like this is because there is no platform to help them explain what they are going through so they just keep quiet they go to church on sunday and they rejoice they go to church weekdays they rejoice but the truth is this see my teaching tonight was to teach us on loving god more but the sincere truth is these are the worries that are stopping us from being passionate about god is that true it's not enough to just say love god he said how can we sing the lord's song in a strange land take us back to our land and we'll sing the lord's song how can we sing the lord's song in a strange land it's very difficult hallelujah there are some of you right here you are the only ones in your family that are in school and the devil wants to make sure that he kicks you out by all means it's because she's part of that word that i just said that's why hallelujah there are some of you they are saying if you don't do well you will just go and get married because this is your thing is like you are not moving anywhere marriage is not a quick way of escaping it's not escapism hallelujah i'm going to pray for you that a hand will come upon you and oh, see the bible says that jesus opened up their understanding that means it can be locked are you getting my point jesus opened up their understanding so that they may understand the scriptures you are not dull some of you have even believed it jesus died to make sure that you excel are you hearing what i'm saying and i don't care what your cgpa is right now even if you have been withdrawn i want you to know that there is hope for you Many preachers may not tell you this. They will just criticize and say this. You are an embarrassment to redemption. You are not an embarrassment to redemption. It's because of you redemption happened. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And right now I want to prophesy and speak over your life. Lift your hands, please. In one minute, talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I've been struggling with this thing. Now you have located me. Please solve this problem. Please pray. Some of you are absolutely intelligent. We refuse to believe that you are dull. Kick away that thing. 
I don't care what your results have said. Talk to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Some of you have refused to sleep for weeks. This is what has tied you down. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Let me pray. Of course, there are spirits that are responsible. Some of you, listen. What you need is to get serious. As simple as that. For some of you, that's all you need. You don't need any deliverance. You just need to obey the principles of diligence. See yet a man diligent. You are not diligent. You need to leave wrong associations and find godly people who are doing well. Some of you, what you need is humility. You are not doing well and you are very arrogant. You won't humble yourself and meet the people who can help you. In this kingdom, you must be humble. Are you getting me? For some of you, is inferiority complex. Because you went to a secondary school where you used stone and you, you sat down and the blackboard, somebody holds it. So what? So what about that? And you have allowed the society to make you feel you are nobody. I can't speak English very well. I'm not as fine as they are. Other people attended Queen's College. And us, we attended school that we are the people that were building the school. As we are attending the lecture. <laughs> so you feel discouraged. No. Tonight I cancel that pronouncement over your life. Lift your hands. Let me pray and rebuke those spirits now. Thank you, Jesus. Please help me with the symbol. At the count of three, I'm going to pray. Goodness. I'm telling you, the fire of God is going to come on a very, in a very mighty way. Lord Jesus, every power holding your academics at the count of three, I set them on fire. One, two, three. Take it now. Leave them. I command those powers be taken from your academics. I rebuke those spirits of failure inferiority i set them on fire on fire now on fire now by the power of the holy ghost i set those spirits on fire let those people go let those people go i command that you excel i prophesy that you excel everyone on probation we take you out of probation tonight in the name of jesus those who have been withdrawn we pray that they will accept you in another department and you will excel though weeping and just for a night i prophesy to you joy comes joy comes with the morning i prophesy to you he said is there hope for a dream Though so it be cut off at the scent of water this night, I command every academic dry bone, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Every spell, every divination over your academics, I set you free now in the name of Jesus. Whoever has made pronouncement over your life, that you will not excel i cause that prophecy i cause that word i bless you i bless you prosper i bless you i bless you in the name of jesus let the blessing cause you to prosper hallelujah anyone called god anyone called dull there's nobody that god created that is dull anyone called dull i change that testimony tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah there are some of you here you are like wounded soldiers but we bring you the balm that is in gilead tonight others may have insulted you I made it look like nothing good can come out of your life. But I prophesy to you, you can rise again. 
Are you hearing me? Listen. Some of you are starting afresh. They have laughed at you, but start. The hand of God will go with you. In no time you will pursue. You will overtake. And that which has been prophesied over your life will come to pass. Everyone who has scorned you and pushed you and ridiculed you, may they see you in your glory. May they see you in your glory. And when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And our hearts were filled with laughter and said, They among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for us. He said, The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O God, like the streams of the Negev. Lord, I pray you turn around situations here tonight. Turn around situations, oh God. There are some of you, this is your last session to do well in that department. And if you don't do well, they may withdraw you. I pray by the mercies of the God of David. Oh God, remember those you died for. Let a book of remembrance be opened tonight. May you rise miraculously out of probation. Hear me? And anyone here who has been unjustly treated, that the sincere truth is that your result now, you are holding what is not your own. May the Lord of Sabaoth, the one who avenges for men, may that God avenge for you. That anyone who has victimized you because of your Christian integrity, and you are suffering today because of your integrity, let the Lord of Sabaoth arise in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Please go back to your seat. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. God is really dealing with issues tonight. Please, I like you to just settle down. I'm just don't mind me. If you're coming here for the first time tonight, please just let us do our mad things the way we are doing it. Hallelujah. How many of you agree that God is visiting issues tonight? Whatever prayer you prayed this week, God had you. Maybe it's because the prayer band people are doing retreat tomorrow. They have shaken the heavens. Mega. People have prayed their lives and they have said enough is enough i just came and mounted the stage and god said no way hallelujah praise the lord jesus praise the lord jesus hallelujah i want to pray for a special set of people right now um there are families please can you hear me outside can you hear me say amen Okay, God bless you. Thank you. There are families here that have one or two people that are as stubborn as anything. How many of you know what I mean? I don't just mean rebellious. You have some people that even the community around you is tired of. Parents drag their children and bring them for counseling. Once I see a mother enter and I see her son following, I know that this son has caused headache. Are you getting me? The church is the light of every city. If for now, we may not be able to build boreholes and the rest, we can rehabilitate these stubborn children. That's a, st a place to start. There are testimonies in this place of children or people who came and were as stubborn as anything from those who are thieves. Huh? 
it's not just guys guys and ladies some of you you are here as i mentioned the case don't just stand for somebody you know that there's this spirit in you it's called the spirit of rebellion there are some of you who still no matter what happened listen we are a family tonight koinonia is not where everybody says tell them or point accusing fingers everybody has something is trusting god to bring him out of are you getting my point so this is a family in this place tonight there are people who have struggled with this rebellious spirit some of you even beat up your loved ones you are a lady but when that thing comes upon you you can even beat somebody as 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 big as kenny or shedrach and then later you just cool down they'll say what happened you say they made me angry you need deliverance quickly let me just tell you praise god now don't get when i talk of deliverance i'm not necessarily talking of turning your head you need a separation between you and that spirit let's define what we call deliverance here so that you don't just think i mean go and fast for 12 days do this uh -uh. what is happening every time the word comes is able to deliver hallelujah so whether you are standing for your loved ones or for yourself there are some of our brothers here you you love god or at least you have an interest for the things of the kingdom but this rebellious spirit even you you cannot explain together with those of you who are involved in smoking and drinking this is a strange night praise god we are not just going to do an altar call secretly between you and god i'm going to pray this is not an altar call this is a call to say lord i'm tired i can't keep hiding this thing praise god are you getting my point please come out quickly well come out quickly come and stand if you are standing for yourself stand in front and start praying start praying and saying lord enough is enough don't let anybody laugh at you god is changing you please stand there's nothing to be ashamed of this is a factory where god is building people and all of you who are sitting please be praying in tongues everybody sitting begin to pray in tongues begin to pray in tongues let's set this atmosphere on fire don't be ashamed don't be ashamed don't be ashamed forget about who is looking at you forget about who is looking at you Hallelujah. 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 There are some of you who are standing in for yourselves. There's no reason to be afraid or ashamed. For those ones, I'm going to hold your hands and I'm going to pray for you. And then we'll prophesy for all the rest. Please, if you know that you have seen this thing, is in your own life, not that of your brother. Whether you're a guy or lady, please move forward here. Come and stand and let me pray for you. If you are ashamed, please go back. We are very serious. Even with all this encouragement, you don't see any. Just stay back, please. These are things we are dealing with. This is spiritual rehabilitation so that your Christianity will be authentic. It may not be your fault. Hallelujah. 95 percent of these so-called stubborn or rebellious people every time i talk with them some of them begin to cry and they tell me in all sincerity i don't like it are you getting me there are ladies here weak there is no weak you don't follow a man to sleep with him you are born again you even pray in tongues people have told you it's all right you are the righteousness of god but you know that that theology is not it's not it's true that you are the righteousness of god but something is happening in your life that is negating that and it must be dealt with there are some of our brothers you love god some of you still as anointed as you are once you just sit down a spirit tells you exactly where the place is and you go and carry it they give them every kind of scientific name I don't care what the name is it must bow this night are you getting what i'm saying when i finish then i'll prophesy over everybody 
everybody must go home with something this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah now those of you standing in front for our time I'll pray with you very quickly I'm not going to ask you what the issue is but I want you to believe listen there are some of you your own issue is money once you see money hi you don't it's like an anointing comes on you once you see money the issue of born again is out of the way please I want you to know if nobody has told you that it's a serious issue that's what has stopped some of you from getting married you have vowed that if the guy is not established and a millionaire he should back to sender you keep saying all those things and you are laughing about it if you've been laughing about it let me challenge you you better hear what I'm saying and take it as the voice of God I'm not saying there's anything wrong with God blessing you with a millionaire but everybody starts somewhere it's only the grave that you start digging from the top every other thing you start from under hallelujah I'm going to agree with you and those spirits will leave you you will go back home a changed person and you will find out that those lost see do you know the listen let me tell you you are truly delivered if the urge to do what you are doing has left you if you are still enduring and using willpower you need prayers are you getting me there are men who are not sleeping with ladies but they cannot look at a fine lady like this and go back home safely that one look it will take one week recovery of one week you will reboot your spiritual life again you need prayers don't let anybody tell you it's normal. Everybody's like that. Then what is the purpose of the power of the Holy Spirit? If we are not faking this thing and we believe the power of God is real, something can happen to you. Are you getting my point? Or you are not stealing. You've not carried it. It's just that opportunity has not presented itself yet. But once you are still struggling with the urge for something, you need prayers. As simple as that never convince yourself that everything is over yet once you find out that there is something still pushing you you get up and you know that you just want to go to the man's house he just calls you and says ah i'm in Kano, close to you here can you come just take a cab i'll pay and you are just thinking should i go should i not go if i go i'm coming back with nothing less than fifty thousand. if i don't go i'm struggling this weekend but I've had a message and while you are listening God will remind you of one koinonia message and you will hear me with my big mouth lashing this thing again and again and God will say choose choose by yourself ladies if you cannot look at a man and tell him I stand for Jesus and I will hold on to my Christian integrity you need prayers and revelation are you getting what I'm saying I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This is not condemnation. I'm helping you. Jesus, we thank you. Those of you sitting, stretch your hands towards them. Let me pray quickly for the people in front. Somebody help me. Let me see. Okay. I'll just pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Once I pray. As I lay my hands on you, just begin to confess that you are free. Free. Go, leave her now.
Hallelujah. Those who are smokers, make sure you join them. I'm not going to ask you whether whatever you are smoking, Indian hemp, Benelin, we we everything, join them. I don't care what it is. Once you are smoking something, you need prayers. I'm serious about it, please. I don't care whether this is your first time or you are a pastor. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Once you have this addiction of drunkenness and smoking, join them. It's this spirit of rebellion. Go ahead, worship him. Help I won't go back. I won't go back. Out. 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 Jesus Christ, I set you free. If you are standing for somebody, I'm going to pray generally. Just pray for those who are standing for themselves. Just be patient. I will speak over your life. We need salvation for... Listen. If Koinonia is here and at least Samaru is not... We can build borehole for people but if the crime rate does not reduce, if there are still bad people around, we are hypocrites. We are just doing jamboree and doing church. Are you getting me? But if the families... In the days of John G. Lake, Spokane was the neatest and cleanest and healthiest city in the whole world. Because they were envoys. This is what apostolic reformation is all about. It's not just speaking grammar. That you left your home a thief and you came back a prophet and apostle. Something must happen to your loved ones. Wait and see. After this prayer, some of them will follow you for miracle service. Those who have vowed that they won't come, you will see them coming because they tried all their rehabilitation. They took your name to prophets. Nothing happened. Hallelujah. Listen, I have a very serious word of advice. Maybe it's because you've never had a preacher say it. But let me say some things very clear. Sex outside marriage is sin. 
Everybody say noted. So that you are never confused again that maybe they didn't say it or they said it. I'm taking this issue very seriously. Sex outside marriage of any kind for whatever reason is sin. Forget about your past. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm not condemning you. Past is past. Number two, stealing money from people, your loved ones and people around in the name of playing tricks and pranks brings a cost to your life. I don't care what revelation of redemption you have. You keep stealing willfully and consciously and see what happens because the scriptures cannot be broken. Are you getting what I'm saying? Brothers, we, we, Benelin, what's the name of that other thing? Codeine. What again? Huh? These people made these drugs as a way of adding value to humanity. And these wicked spirits started working in people. You ask them a simple question. One plus one they cannot answer. But they know which drug can take you high. That's spiritual. Are you getting me? A time will come we're going to organize a service and bring these people and you will see the power of God setting these people free there's no need just talking out they are the ones stealing around and if we really want the crime rate to reduce and we want to them to stop raping our ladies in the night and doing all kinds of things they must be delivered this is not just the issue of police station this is the issue of the power of God then the church will have an influence with government because they will know that it's not just Bible study on Sunday but there is what we call apostolic reformation. There is enough power to help anybody who desires to be helped no matter how stubborn they are. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come, please take a powerful worship. Sam, just take a powerful worship as I pray for these people. How many people are left here? All right, let me. If I pray for you, please just step back so that I just finish up with these people very quickly. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I don't care what the issue has been. If you are in a relationship with a married man, as soon as we are sharing the grace, send him a text. Hello, ladies. If you are in a relationship with any man that is married and has a wife, send him a text. Tell him a man of God spoke to you and now your eyes are open. Don't insult him. Say, I have gotten the truth. I love you. Whatever is not working with your wife, I invite you for koinonia. God will solve it. Leave their marriage so God can give you your own. When you enter and destroy another man's marriage, I'm saying it now. Somebody must say this thing. You are not a counselor. Say the man says he's not satisfied with his wife. They need prayers. They don't need you. You are coming in now as what? A well-wisher. Don't take anybody's wife. The same thing with men. Don't take anybody's woman. Because you have money. And then you think you are married. You are a big boy. And this, let's stop these things. Somebody has got to talk. Hallelujah. So that God can now bless you. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will heal their, will, will forgive their sins and heal their land. Hallelujah. Sam, please. Any song? Okay, let's pray quick. Thank you, Jesus. So we say, I set you free. Can't go back. Can't go back. To the way it is to be. The way you is free. Before your presence. Came and changed. I say I won't go back. I won't go back to the way. To the way it is to be. The way you is free. Before your presence. Before your presence. Hey, man, Jay. Don't say I 
so the Lord can use her. In the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, everything that sponsors the rebellion, leave her now. is giving everybody headache from stealing to prostitution hallelujah there are some they won't go to school they won't do anything but they can cause trouble to everyone it's not normal don't hate them stop hating them now you have spiritual intelligence to know that there are spirits that operate trying to hate them and just beat and box them will not solve the problem you can even call police to come and flog them they can jail them for one week they will come out and repeat the same thing but you try the power of god and see what will happen lift your hands let me pray for you father this is one of the reasons why you set up this platform and in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let there be deliverance and salvation to those ones in the name of Jesus. I declare that beginning from tonight, may the Lord begin to convict their hearts. May they be born again and mightily used by God. I prophesy that they will be born again and mightily used by God. We choose to see the goal that is in them. We choose to see the great destiny. We declare that their lives are not useless. No matter how much they have wasted their life, my God gives them another chance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I've prayed for them. On your own path, as much as you can, talk to them. Listen, it's not just to bring them for koinonia. You are anointed. You have been using Cain to flog them. One day get angry in your spirit and speak to that spirit and you watch what will happen in your house. You will see the drama of the power of God. See, this is why some of our parents or some loved ones do not believe that your coming for koinonia is blessing you. If all you are taking back is koinonia messages, they will be blessed but they need to see an evidence in your life that something is working 
Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat quickly. One last category and we are done for tonight. Goodness. Please don't miss next week's communion service. I already sense that God is doing very, very, very mighty things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, I don't want you to just come out emotionally. Hallelujah. Whether you are inside or outside. If you run a business, if you have a business, whether it's a family business or it's your own, I'm not saying if you are thinking of an idea or if you are just doing something small around, you know that whether it's a family business, whatever it is, from poultry to whatever, and you think that you want to see the hand of God in your business and that of your family members, please, I'm begging you, let's save time. Hallelujah. If you belong to that category, you know that you just need the touch of God. I want you to come out and stand here. Trust him. Trust him that God will do something. Please, the sound. Now, while they come, I want to encourage everyone here. Please listen, inside and outside. While you are waiting for jobs and other things, especially for the guys, I want to challenge every one of you here. Hallelujah. Just stand. I'm going to pray for you. Please take this very seriously. Something will happen to you. But I want you to listen. Those of you who are not doing anything, I'm challenging you tonight. You can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job. Brothers and sisters, the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today, just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good. I hope you know that. Praise the Lord. I don't care even if it is 200,000 per month you are receiving. It will not be enough. It may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself. Let children come. How much is the school fees of one child? A very good school. Good school. Huh? Over 100,000 plus. You can imagine. Now you have been shouting. You are training your children with 150 and you are collecting 100,000. Your entire life till you die, till high blood pressure kills you, will be on deficit. But... You need, you, it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there. But let me tell you, listen, listen. You must get up and do something. The man with one talent sat down. For somebody in this place, this is the message God is telling you. If you, if you are afraid of doing business, you can start a poultry at least. What is wrong with three or four of you? Listen, I'm very serious. Just... Just stop this. Let me press this thing down. Praise God. What is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50, 50,000 naira together huh? and buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you? You bought a phone of 70,000 naira. That's your destiny there. You are holding it on your hand and moving around. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't just want to pray and chorus this like music. Some of us are not doing anything about our lives. You must get up. There are ladies here. I challenge one of our ladies. She came to me and I said, you are good. What can you do? She said, I can bake. I said, bake what? She said, cupcakes. I said, what has stopped you from baking cupcakes? Five or ten. Package it very well. Give it a beautiful name. You think people won't buy it? You will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you'll be biting your finger. Not taking a risk is a greater risk. Some of you are afraid. What if my money goes? That you kept it. Are you not eating the money? The money is still going. Praise the Lord. Seek advice. 
Seek advice. We teach on finances to be able to help us. I don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke. And now is the time to start. Start and fail honorably. Fail honorably and do it again. It's better than sitting down. Or God Jordan is here. Or Jordan, wave your hand. Or God Jordan is here. I knew when he started his bookstore. The room was so small. It was just like this little place. But today God has honored him. He's already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling, I remember. And he told me. I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Do Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there's something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to... to you see that? Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself? And tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it. And we'll pay you for it. We won't say you're a Christian brother. We'll pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You. And you have never made any shirts for me. And I know you. You see what we are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is it screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. You will press the iron on the shirt and then we'll, we'll go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything they have said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> Let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing, fear of... I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You must be blessed in life. It takes audacity. It takes gods. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plat? I know Selena plat. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you plat. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you. If you think you have what it takes, market yourself. And we will promote you. I assure you. If you think you have what it takes, and you believe you are prepared to stand, we are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. 
you are a crook who will, will pray who will send you away or will pray for you if you become a headache we will send you away clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity fail honorably we will clap for you and pray for you again but don't sit down and not do anything hallelujah and then start small some of you want good luck jonathan to call you to be his secretary start small start small start small how many of you make um maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that how many look at look at your money see all your money here everybody how many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics you see that look at I'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around, but there, there are thousands of people. Please, I'm challenging you. Take it very seriously. Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. That cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all oh, this coin on your... We won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. To here. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. Say, I'll be excellent. How many of you fried chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky fried chicken. I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around. Kentucky fried chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin. You are doing bones. You are doing uh, every, no, no. Specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades. You are, uh, they say, what are you doing? Say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beats. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. She makes so much money. Maybe. In one day, what our salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small. But you too cooperate. Haba, the small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we would take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. Package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, was you Abby? Yes. We're talking with my sister. And then, okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we're talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. Lift your hands. Don't go and steal. Don't go and do anything bad. But set it down. Many of you are crying and say, capital, capital, hold on. How many of you know about you win? 
at least you win it's not a scam we all know that is genuine how many of you applied you see that whereas there are people i know in this place who can settle down and help you prepare good business proposals 10 million naira not debt grant that the government is giving and let me tell you they are very fair i know some of our people here who got it and i know they are very fair and genuine how about submitting a proposal or at least partnering with somebody else you can partner with somebody else by the time the money comes so a few of our people here got got it brothers and sisters let's wake up god is talking to us hallelujah let's not just be falling down take it take it and fall down but let's get up and do something hallelujah challenge yourself challenge yourself how many of you fix computers you know that you know anything around computers okay moses who again honestly why can't you start a very good factory genuinely if you can't fix the person's phone or computer tell the person i cannot do it how many of you bring in cars anybody does that you just brought a car from abuja now did you do it well clean business you got your own commission that's what we are talking about you don't have to play pranks and tricks to be blessed are you getting me please i'm challenging you hear me inside and outside i'm going to pray now but i want to challenge everyone i don't just want to chorus it just like that and then we don't do anything in the whole of amadu Bello university for instance at least let me use one institution is there an ice cream machine there please answer me is there an ice cream machine look at and there are over forty thousand potential customers there are some of you here the money you have right now in your account can buy 10. why don't you prepare a proposal three or four of you don't just choose people because they are christians and then they cheat you and you come and give me a headache here use financial intelligence are you getting me now so that somebody because i'm aware that in a crowd like this there are all kinds of people don't let anybody come in the name of the lord and carry you and then go and do some kind of funny things no but with proper financial intelligence some of you here you have the potentials to be paying the school fees of others you are looking for a job that will give you thirty thousand, whereas god wants to make a nation out of you an ice cream machine an ice cream machine let me tell you i remember when one guy opened an ice cream machine some years ago i was spending more than one thousand a bit two thousand per day just to buy for myself and others one tiny cup like this one color not even chocolate and this one milk color see as a christian take the anointing you are receiving and let it open your eyes to see opportunities are you getting my point where others are looking you should see don't let anybody tell you you are small no challenge yourself hallelujah hebrews 11 verse 6 tells us that without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh unto god must believe that he is in other words that he exists and then number two that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him it takes faith hallelujah it takes faith in god it takes faith in god very important you must trust in the lord psalms 125 verse 1 it said they that trust in the lord shall be like mount zion that cannot be shaken hallelujah very important they that trust in the lord when you have faith in god it gives you stability through all of the boisterous winds that blow around our lives where are we okay they that trust in the lord shall be as mount zion which shall not be removed or shaken but abides forever 
Do you trust in the Lord? What is faith first and foremost? Let me tell you. Faith is never faith until it can be seen or heard. Let me shock you right now. Faith is never faith until it can be seen or heard. Faith comes from the Greek word pistis. Hallelujah. What that means is your faith is your persuasion or conviction plus the corresponding action you take based on that conviction. Are you getting my point now? If you have not acted on faith, it's called belief. It's not called faith. Are you getting me? Belief is just your persuasion. When you act based on that belief, it becomes faith. So the Bible says, have faith in God. Become persuaded so much in the character of God that you take steps based on that conviction. So the equation of faith is revelation plus conviction or persuasion then plus corresponding action write it and never forget because faith comes when you hear the word of god so it starts with revelation then that revelation brings conviction or persuasion you are convinced about this reality you just heard about convinced enough to take steps then the bible calls that without the action component is called belief what many people are doing that they call faith is belief that means not acting on the word of god is the clearest proof that you don't trust god not acting on the word of god is the clearest proof biblically that you do not trust god so many people hear the word of god and we claim to be convinced let me tell you in this life the moment you are convinced about a thing action is almost automatic hallelujah a guy sees a lady and thinks he likes her and he keeps nursing that persuasion until it pushes him to say sister please after koinonia i'll be at this door will you mind passing there that's action three guys saw the lady and said wow nice lady i saw the way you know she's fine and she likes god praying it's nice when a fine lady is praying and that's all he stopped and they all moved but he was convinced and he said look i'm going to take a step further right and he meets the lady and then they get married what is that action whereas there is another brother who kept saying me even me god knows from the depths of my heart this is my wife and you watch somebody complete the equation and carry your wife i just spoke about marriage some of you have woken up now ah brothers you need this message before you carry any man's daughter to the altar hmm. that statement you make at the altar is so implicating it will take a long time for you to see the the significance of that vow don't let your tithe deceive you you're standing they are just talking will you do this everybody you are just everybody i'm getting married after the marriage the rubber will hit the road your eye will clear my friend the jimmy says love is blind but marriage will open your eyes praise god so let's hurry up number three i'm going to shock you now you want to secure favor with god the third principle is the tithe t-i-t-h-e ah. how many of us have been taught in our churches and our different groups that tithe helps you to secure favor with god even those who have taught about tithe just preach about it because there are bills that need to be paid and they say you need to pay your tithe if you don't pay your tithe you don't pay your tithe and see whether god will bless you and you see the anger with which the man is preaching and god tells you please please pay this tithe. every church every ministry their prosperity is dependent on their own obedience to the principles of the kingdom 
my prosperity as a minister of the gospel is not dependent on koinonia people ah, that would have been a terrible way to live i would have been frowning at you people every week what did you drop last week There are many men of God who are burdens to their congregations because they do not realize that their prosperity is tied to their own personal obedience. Can I be sincere with you? Many men of God don't tithe. Hallelujah. Many men of God don't tithe. They teach tithing. Do you know how long it took me as a man of God to be consistent in tithing? I want to be sincere with you. You know I fear God and I honor God. When I saw how difficult it was to tithe with all the fear that I had for God, I said, man, that means many people, somebody is lying somewhere in this equation. It takes the giving grace to come upon your life. One, two, it takes you designing a system to make your tithing efficient. Are you getting my point? You don't tithe just, no, 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 no. The first thing I want you to understand about tithing is that tithing is not a debt you are paying. Many people come before God with tithe. Help me with one, one of these envelopes. And they, they bring the tithe. Thank you. Don't worry. They bring the tithe and they just stand frowning. Okay, God, please, so you will not harass me. Take. And once they pray, they say it's blessed. The way you just drop this in the offering basket. Your tithe secures favor with God. You want to be on God's side, brothers and sisters. Not being on God's side is disastrous. It's not just about finances. There is a spirit called the devourer. It is alive and active in the earth. Hallelujah. I must talk about this. Your tithe is not the payment of a debt. Because everything we owe belongs to God. Your tithe is an acknowledgement. It's a documentation of your gratitude. You're saying, Lord, in obedience to you and for your faithfulness, I bring 10%. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Let me kneel down. Look at me. I'm kneeling down. Snap me so that you'll see it on, on the... Don't, I'm dummy with your phone. I'm pleading with you in the name of the Lord God. If you love God, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be consistent in your time. See, I'm getting down on my knees and I'm begging you. Ah, you've been snapping, oh, Joe. <laughs> okay, let me just hands up so that you know that I'm kneeling down. Be faithful. Don't think tithing is a gimmick by a preacher. I can tell you this. Ask the financial department. By the grace of God as a ministry, we do not owe God one night. I don't care what collection is made for what. The tithe of God. Before anything happens. You really think we are running this ministry from. The, look you know what you are dropping in the offering basket. At least you don't know your neighbor's home. But you know your own. You can't run ministry with things people are throwing. No. There is a mystery of divine supply. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You must believe this. I was sharing some of the testimonies with Pastor Williams. Benefits of tithing. I remember one time we were just praying and, and trusting God. There were things here and there to, 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 to get and all of that. And we were just saying, oh Lord, we thank you because we are tithers, we are faithful. Till today, I was sharing with you, Pastor. Till today, we do not know the person. We just got an alert. 1.5 million by an unknown person we do not know into the ministry accounts whereas that's somebody's labor somebody who is collecting 50,000 how much is his salary that calculate it for more than one year for being faithful in time I think I was talking to the protocol department they went to purchase something in Abuja and then I was talking to them the mixer we just got a better mixer very good one and then I, I was talking to them I think it was someone on my birthday pastor someone just right yes and the person just said ah they just paid some money for their family that they were hoping you know 3.4 million naira and the person just said oh 
well, thank God for all the words you are speaking, the things you are teaching us, and was just sending the tithe and all of that. Let me tell you, when you see what we are doing, because I know many of you sit there and wonder, how do these people really get money? Yes, God is faithful, but what is the one plus one of it? Let me tell you, the one plus one of it is what I'm teaching you here. The tithe. If you are not a faithful tither, God is not authorized to bless you. Stop wasting your time in praying and fasting for wealth. If you are not a tither, I want you to know the devourer will stand and stare at your face. If you like, put a Bible on your head. Prayer is not the seed for financial breakthrough. Prayer is the seed for fellowship with the spirit and spiritual awakening and the presence of God and activating the anointing, not prosperity. Your tithe, your giving are the seeds for increase. Many people who want to be blessed will argue this thing. And you ask the person, how much do you have? How much has entered your hand that you are arguing? You are saying it's not correct. It's a terrible thing when you don't have results and you are still arguing. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. When you pay your tithe, you're securing favor with God. Please and please and please teach this to anyone you love and make up your mind from today. Your tithe is a tenth portion, one tenth of your income. That secures open heavens. Favor with God. Tithe. Because it guarantees God's continuous favor in your life. Oh, I don't want to be outside of the favor of God. It's dangerous. It's a risky position. It's like being face to face with a lion. Imagine how many devils of darkness will want on their own to destroy my life. I found a place of refuge. I found a way of walking under an open heavens. Do you know the wickedness? The arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. Do you know how many people want to see your downfall? If there is no spiritual way of keeping yourself standing, you will fall like a leaf. Are you getting what I'm saying? How many people use all their monies for sickness? All their monies for no, no open heavens. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I make up my mind to be faithful in tithing. Say it again in the name of Jesus. See, the truth is many of us are not consistent. Our tithing life is up, down, up, down. That's why today it looks like some doors of favor open up and then tomorrow it's not God's fault. J.C. Penny, many of you have heard about him. J.C. Penny, one of the multi-billionaires who love God. He was tithing and at a point something happened and he said he wanted to experiment with God. He stopped tithing. That was how his business just knows died like that to a point that he was almost crashing. And he said, wow. And he started tithing. And that was how he, he got himself back. You better believe what I'm telling you. Many of our parents do not tithe from their salaries. They are collecting 150,000, yet they cannot afford 5,000. You ask them for 5,000, they will almost kill you. Because a devourer has eaten everything. In one day, two tires just patch. And all the money has gone. Just when you are coming, something happens. Arrows that fly by day. And they now look and they say, sorry, you need, you need this and that. You will be spent and all the money goes. Then, the moment the money goes, the person gets well by himself. The devourer. And you are praying and fasting and conducting night vigils and running around your parlor in the night rather than obey that is better than sacrifice many of us can prefer to run marathon prayers from 11 to 6 to try to solve something that faithfulness in tithing 
Many of our fathers have brought predicaments upon the family because they are not faithful in time. A solid building, a solid structure. Small rain just comes and washes everything just when they wanted to finish the thing. Back to square one. There are even those that physical money disappears. Have you heard that story? Somebody keeps one million, he comes back and finds 780,000. Someone came for counseling. I've never had that thing. The woman said, rats eat her money. No, serious. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not joking at all. Rats. You come in the morning and you see pieces of what sort of devil tied him. I think it was either Paul Enencho or, or, or Bishop David Oedeko that shared something that some armed robbers came and they were going to, I think, um, destroy a woman or capture one family and the woman shouted she took her tight booklet lifted it up and dropped it on the ground and said God watch the people match this booklet and come and touch me at once confusion came on the people they were afraid and that was how they left brothers and sisters what you do not believe will not work for you oh I believe the word of God I'm that minister of the gospel that believes every word of Jesus. Are you getting blessed? Leviticus 27 verse 30. Let's finish up on the issue of tithe very quickly. Leviticus 27 verse 30. Let me show you how the devil has been cheating many of us. Tithe heals you from greed. Everyone, let's read. One to read. Is the Lord's and it is holy unto God. So when I take my tithe, I say, Lord, I'm documenting my gratitude. I honor you. I thank you. How many of our parents receive some money? Maybe one money that is spending, it just comes in. Seven million. And they just calculate use calculator 700,000 me go and give that man of God I'm not stupid Abba 700,000 and you see the person arguing and within three weeks he has spent over one million naira on his health and robbers will come and put a gun and say we saw through the jazz that we use that there's seven million in this I say no it's only four no, now slap you say truly it's, it's seven where is it he said that's it here take it take it and preserve my life whereas the tithe of it. Are you seeing how many of our family members put us in trouble? I say this, many of us keep wondering, why is my father working? Why is my mother working? The truth is that they are all working. They've never been driven from job, but not even a house to build. The mysteries of the kingdom. There is no favor. The heavens are closed. So many believers operating under close heaven. There are many ministries. They are so tight, no supplies. They beg for everything. Squeeze people, put people, workers and all of that under every kind of pressure. Because the man of God is not tithing. The people are not tithing. The ministry is not tithing. Dr. Mike Mudok was sharing and he said there was a time the finance of his ministry was going down. It was going down so bad and he checked and then he called the finance department. He said something is wrong. We are not doing something right. What is wrong? Hallelujah. And the financial secretary said, well, sir, um, for about three months now, we've not been paying tight because the bills are enormous. And honestly, if we are to pay tight, you may, we may shut you down from TV and all of that. And my mother said, because of that, you stop paying the tithe. That means we are going to crash to zero. The day we stop paying tithe as a ministry, I give you one to two months. It will never happen. That's why I have the confidence to say it. Maybe one day you come and you just see no fuel for generator. Or no chairs. Ah! No. As surely as the God of heaven lives. We have created a system that does not depend on our personal emotions again. Is someone learning something? Is your heavens open? 
pastor is your heaven open over your family there are many people who do not tithe they pay school fees 250 naira the, the child brilliant boy is coming back with one dull result zero 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 thirty nine forty one that's the average what is happening all kinds of witchcraft activities flying freely because the heavens are closed are you getting blessed with what i'm saying you want to secure favor with god you must be faithful we've not talked about favor with men no and that's really where i want to dwell tonight that's why i'm rushing i'm not teaching on finances so i'll stop here for you. we are going to pray just in one minute before we continue many of us need to repent because the financial stress in our family is not because of the job it's not it's not because they didn't promote your father i'm telling you the truth if we don't take responsibility we will keep giving it's easy to blame people for our financial predicament are you getting my point it's so easy if that they promoted me i would have been collecting two hundred thousand now instead of 150 my life would have been better so wrong so wrong you collect one million under a closed heaven and you will see the way the devil will make a caricature of your life lift up your voice in one minute and say lord i repent be sincere with yourself some of us need to pray on behalf of our families please be sincere lord i've not been faithful tithing i don't know what it is oh god but i find out that it's so hard i've not had the revelation i'm not yet convinced I think it's a gimmick by a man of God or a ministry. I think it's just a gimmick. Koinonia is trying to squeeze out money from me. No. Go ahead and pray. Because there are many of us, no matter how many miracle services you come, I'm telling you, the heavens are closed. The heavens are closed. There is no favor with God. That's why the doors that were opened before they are not even open again be sincere with yourself there were strange manifestations of favor from god they are not even there again your shop that used to sell nothing is selling again because you think you don't tithe for your business now the heavens are closed look at many of our parents you buy a new gadget you bring the machine everything breaks down this is the devourer brothers and sisters Let's take responsibility tonight and say, Lord, we cry for help. The finance of families are finished because of paying for drugs and sicknesses. Paying for damaged cars. Paying for all kinds of things. Pray and say, Lord, I want your favor. From tonight, I repent. I receive the giving grace to be a delightsome tighter. I realize that this is the key i don't care who you are i don't care what you read i don't care what your level of anointing is i don't care how hardened your heart is if you want to experience favor with god i'm telling you one of the keys is you must be a consistent tighter you must design a system around your life if there are needs in your life that's the more that's that's the more reason to tie don't say the needs are too much man of god is because you don't know i have so much needs i must do this and that touch your way out of that trouble touch your way out of that trouble eating your tight will only get you deeper i promise you you can apply every business principle you know fail to tight and watch the devourer scatter your life and your family but you'll be faithful towards tithing and watch god turn any situation around it doesn't take time commit god into your life anything god is involved in must succeed many of us god is not committed in the affairs of our lives i don't want to know what you are going through now your way out of it secure the favor of the almighty hallelujah 
Praise the Lord. Please let me challenge you. Create a system. If you do internet banking, you can have the account details of the ministry or whatever. Or if it is here, you type the, the, the ministry's account details are available to it. If you do internet banking, transfer it immediately. Otherwise, buy envelopes. Buy envelopes. I always have a stash of envelopes. Praise God. The treasurer is here. We created a system. I don't even see the tithe. As it is counted, we take it and, 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 and sow it to the appropriate ministry. Brothers and sisters, please listen to me. Are you not tired of what you have seen your loved ones go through? Didn't they go to school? Didn't they get all the degrees? Look at everything. See how helpless people are. Because they know not, neither will they understand. And the Bible says they grow in darkness and the earth is out of course. Let's finish the last part. How do you activate and secure favor with men? I must talk about this. Spoke about three things right now. To secure favor with God. That number one, you must have the fear of God. The fear of the Lord. Number two, you must have faith in God. You must trust him. Number three, you must be a consistent titan. But when it comes to finding favor with men, the rule is different. If you have been sleeping, this is the time to wake up. I believe with all my heart that your destiny depends on this revelation I'm sharing tonight. Daniel chapter 1. Open our eyes, O oh God. Daniel chapter 1. Help us. Grant us grace. Someone is walking in undeniable realms of favor after today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to share with you something very powerful. How do you secure favor with men? In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. Verse 2. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hands with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shina, to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure of his God. Verse 3. And the king, listen now, spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of the eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel. So the king is inviting some people to stand before the king. Hallelujah. And the kings, and of the king's seed, and of the princes. Verse 4. Everyone read. One, two, read. Children in whom was no blemish but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability take note in them to stand in the king's palace it takes an ability are you seeing that he said those who have what ability to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. Let's stop there. Look up. There is a mystery to securing favor with men. And I want you to get this very straight. There were many people who were captured. But notice what Nebuchadnezzar said. He said there are a kind of people I want. The king that we captured now. I want all the people that walked in his palace. Because they have been trained according to the life of royalty. Bring them. I want certain choice guys that came from Israel. There were certain things that the eunuchs were looking at. Brothers and sisters, there is a price to secure favor with men. Can I tell you something? Favor is the currency to get money. Think about what I said very carefully. Favor is the currency to get money.
Write this down, please. The ultimate key to entering the realm of favor with men. Never forget this for as long as you live. If you pay attention to this, we will celebrate together as the great ones in the future. But you neglect this, you will be part of those quarreling, those who will be the great ones. Listen. The ultimate key to entering the realm of favor with men is to possess the ability to provide solutions and solve their problems. Write it down. The ultimate key, I'll say it again, to entering the realm of favor with men is to possess the ability to solve their problems and provide solutions. Oh, Shiva. Write this down. Solve problems. Then write three ellipses. Provide solutions. Let's discuss this briefly. When I solve this, we'll tie it up by showing you how God announces men in the kingdom. The ultimate key, brothers and sisters, hear me. Every man in scripture who became great, became great because he was favored. He found favor with men. And every man who found favor with men had something to exchange for that favor. Is someone getting what I'm saying? Joseph would have died in the prison if he never had the ability to interpret dreams. Daniel would never rise to reign in a strange land through the dispensation of three kings if he had no ability to solve problems. I say this all the time and some of us neglect it. Write that word down. Ability. Ability. This is your key to finding favor with men and entering the realm of greatness. Gender notwithstanding. Background notwithstanding. Age notwithstanding. Nationality notwithstanding. Hallelujah. Until you solve a problem, you remain insignificant and unnoticed. If you are not providing solution, brothers and sisters, nobody needs you. The world is so desperate for solutions, they will only run towards the direction of those who are solving problems. The greater problems you solve, the greater you become magnetic. Please understand this. If you think you will, people will invite you into their presence just because they like you or because you are a Christian, you are dreaming. Wake up. Hello? <laughs> you know, many of us have this funny understanding. That because I'm serving God, one day, great men will call me. Ay, 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 ay. Start reading your Bible very carefully. And you will find out that no great man appeared before the king just like that. There was an ability that qualified him to stand before the king. I have a question. What will qualify you to stand before men who can honor you? And bring you into greatness. Are you getting my point? The reason why you may be insignificant as you think. Is because your ability has not brought you to a position of notoriety. Please hear, me, hear what I'm saying. All men are equal. But their graces and abilities separate them. And make certain things possible for others. Your ability, that anointing, that skill, that grace, that gift is what you will use to access favor with men. There are people today by the grace of God who have come to see me. 
and I know that if not for the grace of God there is nothing I will have in exchange for the level of the honor of those people not at this level of my life are you getting what I'm saying there are offices and places that I access today and bump into those people and I know the level of great men in themselves who cannot access those offices the gift of a man can make room for him and bring him before great men your gift can add to your age your gift can qualify you where you do not qualify and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon we must understand this then I will show you how God lifts people in the kingdom say in the name of Jesus I have an ability that will bring me before great men say one more time in the name of Jesus I have an anointing I have grace I have an ability that will bring me before great men I have entered places today that my father may never enter perhaps I have entered places today that with all humility my contemporaries maybe may never enter their lifetime because of the gift of God look when you possess this ability they told Jesus they said all men seek for thee all men they will pay you for it they will pay you in millions and think it's a privilege that they are honoring you and you will be surprised you're wondering my goodness but there is an ability and because they need it they will look for you there are seven billion people in the earth but more than 90 percent of those people are looking for solutions that's big business brother if you can become a solution provider you become magnetic see the darkness in nigeria look let me tell you if you have a ministry that spits saliva on people's face and they get healed spit it on 20 people and let them get healed and you will see the level of intelligent people who will come and stand for days waiting to be healed many of us do not know the level of darkness that is upon the earth please listen the spirit of god is moving in this place right now because i, I want to share something very powerful there is an anointing you have that can bail you forever there is an anointing the ability that makes you to stand before kings you will not be the one looking for them the gentiles will come not to you to your light that's what they want not you if you think people come because they like you there are many people who come for koinonia not because they like me oh. you will be amazed to see how many people came to jesus king of the jews you are this and that when it looked like Jesus' ministry was nosediving, they say, I beg, crucify him. Let his blood even be upon our head. Please listen. Let me just advise you. If you think you have a crowd or people love you because of you, there are very few people in your lifetime who will love you because of your personality. Many people will love you because of what you carry. Are you getting my point? see Baba, Baba there is this treasure in earthen vessels so that you will end some things in your life I will never be a failure in this life forever I know it I know it rich men have problems that I can solve ah yes yes great men have problems that I can solve I cannot solve every problem but brothers and sisters there are problems I can solve now watch this let me explain to you the equation what I call the equation of greatness 
high, you will be so blessed. Just give me a few minutes and we'll pray now. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 1, media, project it. I love the Lord. When I did this study, my heart dropped. I said, oh God, I'm sorry for all the times that I kept blaming you for so many things. Ecclesiastes 9. Eleven, verse eleven. Did I say one? Eleven, please. Verse eleven. Everybody, please read. I returned and saw under the that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding nor yet favor to men of skill this is the mystery we're about to discuss now everybody read it but time and chance i want to show you the mystery of greatness listen repeat this last clause again one to go time one more time but time and chance happens to who how many everybody now replace the word chance where are we now Okay, but time and chance. Replace the word chance with opportunity. Are you ready now? One to read. I want you to replace the word time with the word seasons. Are you ready now? One to read. But seasons and opportunities happen to them all. But seasons. Like the hand of a clock. It has been designed by the sovereign act of God that for every man upon the surface of the earth there is the turning of the hand of the clock and that one day time and opportunity will always happen to them. Ah. Holy Spirit. Time and chance did the bible say it happens to some happens to everybody that means there is a guarantee please listen somebody's deliverance is coming there is a guarantee based on the word of god that a day must come if god is god where time and chance you know how they do cooperative society five of us bring twenty twenty thousand it's now your own turn it's now your own turn and i start smiling although it's not my turn because i know that my turn is coming for sure and the bible says time and chance so in the equation of greatness we are bringing the constant factors and then we work on the variables we are doing a little mathematics here are you getting my point it says time and chance this one no devil can stop it no herbal is from your village you don't need to pray about it he said time if you are under the sun time and chance happen to them all. ah i show you a mystery ah so time that means a time will come in my life whether i'm prepared or not whether i pray for it or not whether i fast for it or not a time will come where the hand of god will navigate opportunities whether i see it or not is irrelevant god's justice must be done therefore the bible for once us is a redeeming the time now that you know that a day will come this is where a lot of people miss it we keep focusing on looking at the day the bible says it will come remove that in the equation of your preparation for greatness and begin to focus on taking advantage of that day it will come the equation of greatness let's look at um okay greatness therefore in the kingdom comes by number one god Imagine seasons and opportunities together and then number two you finding favor 
by securing that opportunity I'm going to explain myself let me have somebody please okay Aaron come hallelujah watch this let's assume this is spiritual timing and according to God's justice system okay stand here Aaron please. that this time is going to keep moving are you seeing it now and that a day will come it may take a long time but that a day is going to come when it will come to Aaron and if Aaron misses on that opportunity it will keep moving again are you getting what I'm saying that's why if God wants to help you in life he restores years not what you lost years he tries to bring back the time so that the mistake you made you can remedy it he never said I will restore the goods because they are not necessary once there is time and those seasons is somebody understanding what I'm saying now the problem with the body of Christ is that we all sit down being distracted at looking at the clock and waiting for the day it gets to our turn rather than getting busy to sharpen that ability so that the day the time comes you will enter the presence of greatness once and never come out again forever every man in the scripture that became great waited for that kairos moment joseph was in the prison but he knew there is an ability to interpret dreams it's only a matter of time the brother sold him he said no problem pharaoh's wife lied that he wanted to rape her no problem they threw him in the prison but when the season comes that part of the equation is god that starts moving that's favor with god are you seeing that now god made it in such a way that the wine presser had to do something wrong to go to the prison so while he was in the prison the divine transaction started happening and the wine presser came out although the wine presser forgot about him but a day came let me tell you it does not take two days for you to enter greatness read the bible it always happened in one day there is always a day called one day he said john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there is, john was sharpening himself in the wilderness when the season came he came out and he completed his assignment one time jesus for 30 years was preparing for a season of three years 30 years read all the books knew all the law did everything and there was flawless victory within three and a half years so there are many of us sitting down looking at people's cars and say man i like this jeep goodness ah bmw this and that ford explorer 2014 limited edition look at that foolishness we are there claiming i claim it time and chance your turn is soon coming create an urgency sharpen the knife sharpen the anointing sharpen the healing anointing one day see let me tell you you may say there are many people the bible says in israel there were many widows but to none was the prophet sent god will send people specifically to you ah, and when you take advantage of that season that is it you are open to a dimension of grace i have studied almost every great ministry i admire and i found out that in the history of that ministry something always happened something happened at the kairos season and the men plunged into it with revelation and boom never to return again Are you, are you getting what I'm sharing with you? Ah, I feel the anointing of the Spirit. If you sit down and you are wondering, Kai, this house, one day we are coming. When will this come? No, no, no. You never see me bother. You insult yourself when you do that. 
many young people here our dream is car right car let me buy car and you are trying to save how much can you save for the car you want i'm teaching you a higher law get out of all those 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 ways of frustration and misery that's why many people cannot give god glory they suffer for everything in their life come and adopt the kingdom's way there is a higher dimension there is a higher way believe me look let me tell you i'm a businessman i've read many business books so don't you think i'm just talking nonsense i know what i'm saying hallelujah when that kairos moment comes in your life when it comes in your ministry some people are snoring through the night the time will pass they wake up and an opportunity that took 10 years has just passed before it will come back again the first son is graduating from the university he has not learned his lesson after 25 years it comes again prophecy comes in the name of jesus let restoration happen and by the mercy of god the time is reversed it comes again the same lack of preparation keeps bringing people down are you seeing why it takes more than receive it to walk in this realm you would thank me in the future for what i'm teaching you i'm teaching you the way to a superior life so that you stop blaming your parents and say if my father only accepted this job stupid man would have been out of this thing uh -uh, leave your father alone god is bringing you to a point i don't care what degree you graduated with i don't care there is a problem listen if you solve a millionaire's problem you have access to his millions it's as simple as that i'll never be a failure in this life never so every time i spend in prayer i'm sharpening my giftings for that day a day will come when that season comes god will send a great man who can sow a seed of 100 million naira to koinonia the person will be dying of tuberculosis or something it's like that that's how it works there is always something you can exchange for and god will make it in such a way that on the day he's coming somebody will be bringing koinonia messages that one is god's part of the equation while that is happening i'm praying in the secret place Shikata ba -ba -ba -ba. Rakata ba -da. greater wisdom oh god you can sleep in the night and not know that that is the last time you will sleep in that realm Hi. if joseph knew if joseph knew all the people in the prison would have cleaned his shoe and said oh God, it is within your bail me imagine the guy that bought joseph when he was shaving joseph little did he know he would have earned himself a position forever imagine those who were with the pre in the prison with obas and john the night he will come out if they had known that he would just come out never to return they would have said augusta let's pray father bless this man so that at least he will remember them beware of people that you keep mocking and say you are not this you can't speak english very well you can't do this and that and that beware let me tell you you know why because if you are not if you don't take time please look at me let's just focus god is just doing this thing if if you are if you don't pay attention can i tell you the truth a day will come you will find out that the same person you saw today you looked at her said mary what is there you will open an office that you feel from for two weeks there are people today who are angry with me they are angry with me because there were times when we could access one another and at those times they could say a lot of things call me when they wanted but i was doing something they were not doing we were all laughing and joking and today because of the difficulty in reaching me they pick offense it's not my fault i refuse to remain at that level i intend to grow be nice to people today let me tell you brothers and sisters for those of you who look at people in koinonia and when we say greet one another you just turn you don't know who you are turning time and chance he may come from a poor family he may have one ton sanders but let me tell you time the word you are hearing is sharpening you for that time a day will come there is something god has put in you this is the justice of god this is why every man can be great time 
and chance happens to them all the day it happened to our parents they were not prepared they were there talking about others criticizing others and the clock passed and it went to one drunkard who just got born again and saw the time took advantage of it and they said ah, is this not the boy on campus that was drinking he was drinking but he did something with his opportunity now he's a billionaire he's a pastor he's advancing the kingdom let me tell you something that happened in 2008 i believe i was in accra for a retreat and something happened hallelujah no i think 2007 or so i was in accra for a retreat praying and seeking the face of god for the things that he was going to do and while i was praying my money had finished i had nothing not even to eat not even to pay for the hotel where i was having the retreat for that night i finished praying i was reading a book within the gates it's a divine revelation book when i read it, the spirit of god just told me stroll around and i came out i started strolling i was walking like a fool time and chance i want to share with you testimonies now the holy ghost just said just keep walking i was walking like a fool i didn't know where i was going up to 25 minutes i was just walking the next thing i saw a signboard welcome to accra city campus and the holy ghost said enter immediately i entered the first person i'll meet is the src president and the guy listen the guy looked at me and the moment he looked at me he said how are you sir when he shook me he just took his hand he said jesus he said can you come to my office miracle number one listen listen true story i want to tell you i know what i'm saying i'm not just making noise when this guy brought me to the office we didn't speak more than five minutes he started shaking time and chance and they ordered a meal i first ate the meal and then we attended their fellowship i sat down quietly after they attended their just like the campus has friday fellowship when they finished i went to his office watch this the moment i started talking i started talking at about two four we rounded up that meeting past nine when we started talking the university esco started coming to the office one by one they would come this one would fall under the anointing and remain there it was in that place i inaugurated the prayer group that prayed for the campus in accra in that accra city campus on that day i'm still in touch with that gentleman again his life changed there was they have their prophets like their maybe what you would call an fcs president yes after the the, the president would finish he invited me again to Accra and I went to minister in a program and it was a powerful and explosive program I was even on radio the radio and they did an interview I think that was when we traveled with Bala Alex and a team of other people listen that's not the whole story when I finished that night the people came together past night they raised an offering of maybe equivalent in Naira now of maybe 30,000 and they gave me i didn't even know how to find my way back they directed me i found my way paid for that night and i ate a very good meal i said it works i remember in the room i was screaming i said come on not it has equal value in any land you don't need to know nobody all this godfather nonsense let me tell you get out of it right now if god is on your side there is nothing nothing you cannot get listen the night i was supposed to leave those guys started crying because they would come and visit me in my hotel it was within three or four days their lives changed they said what sort of person i taught them on the kingdom it was an unusual open heavens so the last day they invited me again i prayed with them strengthened all the people you know blessed them they had impartations and all of that and they raised me money again an equivalent of maybe says 50,000 and then I returned back who would have helped me I don't have any uncle but the gift of a man the time and chance is God's own equation leave it for him God is speaking to someone tonight you have been crying and say Lord when will it come God said forget about the issue of when are you prepared are you seeing that God delaying seasons is an act of his love that 
thing you have been calling delay you are not prepared if it had come before this message you would have blown it only for it to come back 10 years you open a shop nobody's coming god is saying uh -uh, i don't want you to miss be careful what you call delay some things may be the hand of god your job you didn't get the job god said i i don't want you to struggle there is something you can know you go for a job in four months you have become one of the executives it does not take time if you can solve the problem you will rise to the top all the days of my appointed time i will wait but while i wait i will sharpen the knife i will pray in tongues while i wait i will keep studying the word i know i'm going to stand before kings i must have contents to give them i won't talk like i'm talking before weak men i will stand before presidents a day will come it will be a privilege to air koinonia a day will come we will not just have one or two tv stations there will be many one billionaire can sponsor it for years but while that time comes we will pray we will fast we will travel let them call you a fool because there's no car what is car see a man came to mike murdoch because of something that he did he was begging mike murdoch to buy a car for him mike murdoch said i don't need it he said i i entered a covenant with god that every year till you die i'll be buying you the latest benz car one day I was passing around Abuja and I saw all the mighty houses they were building around my Tama and the Holy Ghost told me, do you know how many of your houses are here? No, I'm serious. God told me, he said, you will only build in life just for the formality, the gift of a man. The owner of that building will need me one day. Darkness is a mystery that announces light. The world will be too dark. One day, they will need the anointing. They will need it i'm telling you many of you have not been respecting what you carry i know what i carry i know what i carry is an anointing of the spirit the nations can never 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 they can never deny the effect they may not like me but there is an anointing for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time i'm fasting i may believe I may so carry, but there is an anointing. My father could not enter, but there is an anointing. There is wisdom. There is the gift of God. And I will increase your greatness and comfort you on every side. There is a price to pay. I don't blame anybody. Left now is to sharpen my ability. Hiya. I may not speak the kind of English you want, but when I say it, an anointing will leave. You can deny my English, but you cannot deny the anointing. There is something. See, this is what I'm training you to become. There is a sharpening. You may not see it now. The world will need you. You will collect a salary of maybe 100,000, but your boss will sow a seed of 5 million to get out of trouble. Your ability, listen, we are soon going to pray. Your ability to maximize the moment opens you up to untold realms of greatness. Look at me. Aaron is here. Let me share with you his testimony. Permit me, Aaron, a bit. For years, many of you know how skilled Aaron is for years the kind of job he was trusting god for would not come i know times when things would get a bit painful for him and we kept encouraging he will be listening to the word of god but time and chance a season just came brothers and sisters supernaturally he got a job too he got connected with the deputy governor of Kaduna State. Within how many months, Aaron? That they, within two months, they moved him to go and head a unit in Joss. Now he heads a unit in Joss. And we are only counting. See, I think there's one of our ladies here. Two of our ladies that I know. The moment they graduated, 
they've not even served they just call them to get jobs you may not value what you are receiving don't let anybody fool you and make you think you are wasting your time a day will come the price you are paying now is what your colleagues will be paying in the future you are already paying it now you may look like a fool some of you as you are going back home now they will insult you and say we are not seeing the fruit it does not yet appear but time and chance will reveal that i'm not praying in tongues for nothing hallelujah this year let me give you the last story and then we'll pray this year i was in ibadan we, were, we all went to ibadan and when we went they lodged us in one of the best hotels there and it was yerima victor and um, sam they sent me a text in the afternoon they said we're swimming and we're enjoying and then i looked through my window they were playing table tennis they were swimming you know they were enjoying themselves all snapping and enjoying and i looked and then i remembered the story that same hotel listen in 2007 i went to that same hotel for something but i could not pay for any room because it was very expensive listen to me i still had the anointing but time and season had not come i went there i still saw the arrangement i sat down there there's the reception there brothers and sisters i was looking for a place around that vicinity where they were doing night vigil it was a friday night so i will attend the night vigil because i had no money if i touch anything i will not have my transport back are you hearing what i'm saying that same hotel somebody would have looked at me and said oh what failure Hiya. mistake big mistake you don't need to respond to those who think you are failures because you went to the board and you saw five carryovers and the devil says see tell him no you see just keep watching time 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 yes you may have an extra year write it and move and thank god because in that extra year you are still moving ahead see if a plane is moving forward even if you go back to the restroom you are still moving forward because the plane carrying you is moving forward I stayed that night till morning. No bathing, no nothing. And a few years later, there is a protocol of people together with the wife of the police commissioner of the state. We came and we sat with this woman. We are still going back. I think some, sometime towards the year. We are still going back to our place again. This woman was astonished. The things that God did in, in Ibadan was amazing. The woman followed us to our hotel room and we kept talking till almost i think to 12 or past 12 and she brought she said she must show her husband her husband is one of the top police people praise god and she they recorded everything me prophesying and praying for her and she said she must meet her husband and she just brought out a check i think a check of thirty thousand or something she said sorry oh man of god this is small but can you take this i said oh lord time and chance it's not like i prayed more i just kept doing what i was doing it when when your season comes the same thing you did that did not produce result will now produce amazing results there are miracles that happen in koinonia here that if we were on air people will already start traveling but time and chance don't worry a day will come stop trying to announce yourself there are many people on air getting millions of naira. They don't have up to half of Sam's anointing. Continue what you are doing. Time and chance. A day will come. God will arrange your destiny helpers in front. Then they will give you 10 minutes to lead prayers. That's the day God will announce you. In 10 minutes, what the Spirit of God will do, you will have more than 20 invitations. Come for our conference. Come for this. You are reading business books. You are preparing yourself. It looks like you are a fool. There is nothing working. No office. Only knowledge. People even call you big head. Don't worry. A day will come. Unto none of the widows. Was, was, um, was Elijah. How did he put it now? Was the prophet sent. 
accept that widow of Zarephath. But the question God is asking you tonight before we pray. When the season comes, when the season comes, are you sharpened enough to make that your last season in that realm? Will you make the words of your critics become a self-fulfilling prophecy? Or will you contend? They may be seeing the brother and sister praying and they say, hey, you people know what you are doing. Don't worry. You don't need to answer anybody. Just keep praying. seasons a day came we were doing this same thing but it was at the back of chapel no facebook to capture the picture and show the world that there is the hand of god upon these people but a day will come so i stopped focusing about cars nonsense house no leave all those things from today i'm teaching you when you sit with friends and they say oh boy where now? Where will our level change? Just know that they are wasting your time. Time and chance. It never announces to you that the day is coming. You will just sleep in the prison one night. And by the second night, you are in a palace you cannot account for. What brought me here? Oh, I believe it for somebody. I believe it for somebody. Let me bring a word for somebody you may be going through certain things you are killing the lion in the secret nobody knows you are killing the bear nobody knows a day will come god will put you in front of goliath and it will be in the presence of all israel on that day saul will know that there is a david some of you have anointings today that if it's to be revealed the world will run away don't look for premature manifestation let me tell you service is the best way to train yourself and sharpen yourself you see all these things people say i won't play keyboard till they pay me you are being foolish you can serve now and they give you prayers and you make blunders at least the mistake was made in jerusalem before you now get to judea and samaria and make blunders there make the mistake here sing and go off key here we will laugh at you alone and we'll tap your back there are mistakes that great men don't make in the open no make it here make it here sharpen that knife who is god speaking to tonight because i sense in my spirit that we are at the edge i cannot tell you trust me i'm not speaking nonsense i know it in my spirit i've been telling you this for days i have been fasting and preparing for these seasons I have i have picked the signal that believers in this side of god's kingdom there is a dimension of there is a shofar that will blow in this season and let me tell you warriors will arise this i call it the zaria experience we will reproduce this thing in this country many people do not know what god is doing in this side of the kingdom you just finish your school wear your convocation gown or sit back a day will come god will say your season in zaria is over it's time to move like arrows like arrows in a man's quiver he will send you you will wreak havoc across the seven mountains that day will come pay the price now forget the name you don't need to be called an apostle or pastor or prophet it's irrelevant settle down hallelujah that's why see listen let me tell you one secret about my life i shared it with the school of ministry students you never see me in broad daylight just roaming around foolishly no if you see me around there was something to do you never that you are walking on the street you just see me jumping around and say yeah, corn or maize which one is hot no I'm preparing for such an extraordinary life. I want my life to match the visions that I've seen in the spirit. Call me an apostle. Thank God for the healings. I won't be deceived. I want to carry the word of the Lord with such a razor sharp accuracy. So I will stay in the presence. I will fast. I will pray. 
let me be lean today no problem it doesn't kill it doesn't kill prayer doesn't kill don't be a fool the suffering of the future is what kills the price today doesn't kill there's no job instead of praying and lamenting be preparing and say i know a job will come the day they do that interview they won't just give it job they will promote me at once because they will say where have you been rise up on your feet my spirit is fired up please jump up on your feet i like you to begin to blast in tongues instrumentalists come up everybody come on from the depth of your spirit do it for your future time and chance happens to you a day will come your season of appearing your season of appearing don't be tired don't be tired man of god don't be tired woman of god don't be tired prophet of god don't be tired apostle of god don't be tired keep pressing sharpen the anointing sharpen the skill sharpen the gift my season of appearing is coming they may victimize me today but time and chance time and chance time and chance hallelujah 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 the next prayer point i like you to pray and say lord i receive the capacity to build listen if you can't just pair yourselves into two find a brother or sister that is ready to pray and say lord in the name of jesus i receive grace to build to sharpen that ability as I wait for that day, come on, pray, Koinonia. Shake it, Boko to break it. Shake it, Boko to break it. The day will come. The day will come. Rekoto Boko to break it. Rekoto to break it. Rekoto to break it. Rekoto break it. Rekoto to break it. Roboto poco so secete, lecete, reposco precete, and your new capacity, pay the price now, poco toco so secete, lecete, lecete, poco to precete, but a little rose, poco to post, matata poco to procotos, lecete, procotos, lecete, procotos, lecete, procotos, lecete, procotos, lecete, 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 the <laughs> Shake it, 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 shake it
Prepare for the season. Prepare for the opportunity. They will come. They will come. They will come. They will come. Prepare for it. Hallelujah. And thou will increase my grace and comfort me on every side. Listen. Listen. The third prayer point. You're going to attack every spirit, listen, of premature manifestation and distraction. Many of us want to be known. It's not fair. I'm anointed. Give me prayers to pray. I'm anointed. Put me on the stage. Nonsense. Stephen remained here serving tables. But the anointing was too much for tables. You're going to pray. Listen. There are many of us. You cannot delay gratification. You want to buy the shoe now. You want to buy everything now. You see people standing and you say, I must buy this kind of shoe. I must buy this kind of watch. Oh, glory. The word is working. You better keep quiet and pray. Prepare for the season. Read the books. Read books on fatherhood. Read books on leadership. Read books on ministry. Sharpen yourself. When you are tired and it's 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock time to pray. When you are tired, remember your destiny. Drag yourself up. I'm tired. It's true that I'm tired. But for the sake of my destiny. I do it to correct the errors of the fathers. I do it to correct the limitations of my family. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Anytime you see a nice jeep, go and get a book and read. That's how to that's how to claim it. After you speak and say in the name of Jesus, but prepare knowing that there is something you can have that will bring it to you. A day will come when God permits us and we start translating koinonia messages to books I tell you some of them will be bestsellers but until that time comes let's keep preaching the cutting S messages hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done listen immediately we play these two prayer points there are people here who need to surrender totally to Jesus. The moment we pray those two prayer points, as we round up the last one, I just want you to come out here quickly because this is serious business. I don't need to cajole you. You need to surrender your heart. That you want to say, Lord, truly everything. So make sure when that time comes, we're going to pray. We're going to pray this prayer point. Hallelujah. And you're going to say, Lord, all the resources all the materials all the components i need to expose myself to in preparation for that season bring them to me in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray all the trainings all the books all the papers 
All the catering schools, all the fashion schools, all the business schools, all the business schools, all the ministry training, all the degrees you need to get, all the qualifications. All the leadership traits that you need for this new season that is coming, receive grace, pay the price, find the truth. Hallelujah. So, sister, rather than praying and say, There's no husband, why don't you sharpen yourself and say, The man that talks to me will know he spoke to a treasure. When you are going around doing all kinds of nonsense, there's no man coming. This koinonia brother said, They are not seen. Why don't you sharpen yourself? Brothers, rather than sitting down, all these ladies don't like me. Are you serious? What are you doing for your future? Show me the investments you are making to be an extraordinary man. Last prayer point. Lord Jesus, hold my hands in this destiny and take me until I become great. Lift your voice and pray. Hold my hands. Hold my hands through the rain, through the storm. Lord, when I want to give up, encourage me. When the pressure gets too much, let me hear the voice of the Spirit. Hold my hands. The hand of the Lubabel that began this walk. That same hand. That same hand. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. When I'm almost giving up, hold my hands. When I'm almost falling, hold my hands. When it looks like the weight is too long, hold my hands. When I'm about to give up on destiny, hold my hands. When the husband is not coming, hold my hands. When the job is not coming, hold my hands. When the miracle seems to be delayed, hold my hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can choose to remain at the level you are forever by giving excuses. Or you can take the hand of God and say, Lord, I'm on your side. I don't care what men say. Let them criticize me. I will still be moving. I don't care well. They may misunderstand me. Why are you always praying in tongues like a fool? No problem. Is it only books you will keep reading? Don't you visit friends? No problem. When the season of appearing comes, the brothers of Joseph that looked down on him they were the ones who now came joseph said i saw the sun i saw the moon i saw 11 stars bowing to me those who criticize you they will bow it's only a matter of time hallelujah i bring a word of hope to somebody the issue in your life right now does not come to kill you it is the making of great men there is no money in your pocket some of you have been preached to think that is because you don't have faith 
is because you have faith every time you pray for the throne a goliath comes when you see a goliath don't cry start smiling that's a sign that a new season is before you the presence of an enemy always ends your current season and opens up a new season for you if there are no enemies in your life i'm afraid of you may your life not be so ordinary that your enemies ignore you you will remember this day a day will come when you look at these pictures today tears will roll from your eyes because you will see that in a short time god has glorified himself in your life and you will be wondering was it this easy and i was almost missing it the songwriter says i was right at the edge of the breakthrough can i tell you something i sense in my spirit that the clock is getting close to someone's life I, I mean it from the depths of my heart as a house i know that we're about entering a season i've been announcing this for months god will not do anything in this house and not reveal it to me i'm like a pregnant woman that's why i stay in the secret like the wise men looking at the stars trying to understand what are you saying because a season will be better and we will only see and wonder and say lord was it this fast hallelujah we'll take one more prayer point but let's allow those who are saying lord i'm not going to lie to myself tonight i need you in my life please i want you to rush out here quickly do it from the depths of your heart whether you are outside or inside please welcome you are welcome this is for the sake of your destiny mean it from the depths of your heart enough is enough run to jesus there's nothing to be ashamed of nobody is closing his eyes you don't close your eyes when they are giving you a gift there are still people outside jesus is talking to you and saying this is why i brought you for this meeting you wanted to come but the devil kept stopping you but tonight is your night you can go back nobody will talk to you but you are the one who knows that your destiny needs to change don't let the proclamations of your enemies be a self-fulfilling prophecy run to jesus young and old those of us standing stretch your hands towards them and begin to pray those in front talk to the lord talk to the lord some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears say lord i mean business with you i'm not being emotional because of a message i have seen that my destiny is in my hands i make up my mind i congratulate those of you in front no man condemns you condemnation does not come from god he convicts you like he has done i don't care what you have done i don't care where you are jesus is about to give you a new beginning we believe in you and we believe in your destiny every one of us had to make this decision there's nothing to be ashamed of make it a genuine decision now lift your right hand and say after me from the depth of your heart say after me lord jesus i believe in you I confess that you are my savior and you are my lord today i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that i'm a child of god satan stay out of my life jesus i acknowledge you as the lord of my life let the peace of god flood into my heart right now i denounce sin i denounce satan from today my life begins to move upward only in the name of jesus christ now let me pray for you jesus 
These ones have come because they love you. We salute their courage and as a family of faith, we receive them with gladness. And Lord, I know that among these ones, there are apostles and prophets and businessmen and leaders and world changers. Lord, I pray that in this season, you begin to lead them through dealings. Begin to bring them to the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom. Holy Spirit, you are our master mentor. We commend these ones to your life. Let them experience it truly. The Zoe life, that God life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you with the blessings of heaven. Everything that you came here with that is not of God drops here tonight and never returns with you. In the name of Jesus, you will be transformed and changed for real. And you will never, I break associations that are ungodly, that keep you in sin and iniquity. I pray in the name of Jesus that your change and transformation will be genuine. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Koinonia, celebrate them. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hallelujah. Now listen, just do something for me very quickly. I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. We'll have your details. We'll be praying for you. And then we'll have a word with you. God bless you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Just give me a few minutes. And then we'll release the blessings on you. Hallelujah. Please use this week. Hallelujah. Jordan's bookstore is there. I want you to settle down on books and materials this week. Hallelujah. This week from now till next week Friday. Don't be distracted. I know that many of us are free. Some of us who are working when you come back from your office. Just quietly settle down. Please get materials. Some of us is, is gluttony that will kill away our destiny. You just eat and sleep and snore around. The Bible says a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the eyes and poverty will come upon you like an armed bandit. Go and get books, get tapes. Media is here. Immediately after Koinonia, you can meet them. Get as many Koinonia messages. We have preached messages across different areas. Is it marriage? Is it ministry? Get this koinonia teaching. Settle down. Close yourself. Even if it's for two hours. Hallelujah. Try to sleep well in the night. Once it's 12 or 1 o'clock. Find a place. Don't disturb people. Please. Don't disturb your neighbors because you are getting spiritual. Find a place. And pray. Even if it's for 30 minutes. Don't say you must pray for 5 hours. Pray in tongues write your persuasions those of you who have access to internet go on YouTube download or listen to quality messages minimize watching movies the television is good but it can be a disadvantage sometimes that's why those who watch it too much never appear there hallelujah there are those who make news there are those who watch the news. Hallelujah. Make up your mind. Use this week. Flog it out with destiny. Some of you need to break up godly associations. You love God, but you have too many friends. And many of them are not godly. When, when you want to bless God, some ladies will just come. Right, sister? And suggest all kinds of nonsense. Association is not compulsory. Are you getting my point? If there are friends that are leading you, they bring all kinds of poisonous movies. They come with wrong communication, evil communication. Mention all kinds of words that should not be heard among believers. You don't need to criticize them. But I tell you, friends that will not take you far. Abraham took Lot with him. It was because of Lord he almost missed out. You need to create a protocol around your life. Don't let anybody hop in and out of your life anyhow. Because you are going somewhere. They may not understand it now. 
Stop running to uncles and aunties, being a nuisance to people's houses. Please give me money. You now lie to this person. My school fees is 30,000. Or oh, uncle, give me the job. Auntie, give me this. No. Settle down with the world. And they are the ones who will be celebrating you tomorrow. Hallelujah. Very quickly before we leave, if tonight is your first time worshiping with us here in Koinonia, while I take the announcements, please listen to the announcements. They are very important. I'd like you to find your way to the front. If this is your first time, please don't sit back. We have a prayer, a blessing, and a prophecy. Summon the courage to come out. We love you. We love you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Please don't sit back. I know there are a number of people outside. If you came with anybody and is sitting back, tell him, come. Come and receive the blessing. Come and receive a prophetic word. Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall <laughs>